right there. So I'll move my thing to the middle. And hopefully I've got some sand taken care of, but we'll see. I'm now currently awaiting Lucas. Oh, here we go. He's muted himself though, as usual. So when Lucas unmutes himself, then we'll know if I've got my sound and uh, mixing right. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we I go. was muted both um, <laughs> on Discord and on my microphone. The double, so the double mute. The double mute. We've all been. Um, people might know on my end, and they might notice a little guest. Oh, you got Cade with you? I do. Okay, perfect. It's okay, so, buddy. You can't jump onto my chair. You've got to stay on your chair. Yeah, so, folks at home, have to let me know how good the uh, the sound okay. is in regards to the mixing of Lucas, okay. myself, and just the background noise. Uh, good thing I had my mic completely muted as well on my end. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I have Cade with me. Uh, Jenna's not here tonight, so... Yeah, Lucas has his thing. Uh, Cade is... Is with me and I'm on like Jenna's chair. And I'm just like Cade, Cade, stick to your chair, like yeah. your co-host. Like you get your own. You are chair. not host. You are co-host. So uh, Lucas, I am using the 8-bit do. Oh, it, you are. I'm using the 8-bit. I'm using this piece of. Look how small it is. <laughs> this is this is how like it's so tight. I'm gonna kick your ass with it, mate. This is my dream. The music is a bit low. Okay, the music is a bit high. Then, uh, yeah. So yeah, like let me know if um, volume mixing is. Is like okay, um, yeah. Cade, Cade, Cade. I love you. Um, this is your chair. There we go. This Hopefully that that should be a bit better fixed. You just he, like to clarify, you just spent the last like hour and a half um, in a crate. Oh, okay. While I go to shop and that, because that's why I don't want to leave him there. Because I don't want to just have him like in there for like four hours. That's fair. How's your finger? It was my thumb, and my thumb is completely healed now. So yeah. It's not Sounds broke. Good. Good. Yeah. It's, there's still like you can see a bump where the right. Hey, was cut unless off. you're gonna be four player, <laughs> we can't we can't have you on this chair, okay? Like you are just off to the side. Like you are meant to be the silent co-host. Yes. But uh, there we go. Hopefully mm -hmm. that volume is a bit better. I've turned down the music so on here. for folks okay. at home. And turn Luke's up a little bit. There we go. That's enough. I just like how I can hear you just like argue with Kate. Like, no, no. <laughs> Come on, Kate. There we go. So I'm you curious. Like, the annoying thing is though, Lucas, you can't taunt with the 8 bit, dude. Oh, I can checked. You not? There's no way to set up taunt on it. Oh, god damn it. It doesn't have enough buttons to taunt. Oh, but I think using annoying. the controller itself is in itself is like a taunt. It is. It is in itself a taunt. Yeah. Um, hey, so to be clarified, I am using. I'm not like getting a GameCube control off camera. I, I guess I can like point the camera down for like a couple of games to show I am using the 8-bit do. Because <laughs> people won't believe me, people think I've got like a smash. No, I use a when I'm not using that, I use a single Joy-Con. So there's a Joy-Con. Yes, we're using the left Joy-Con. And there's the 8-bit do, which is smaller than a single Joy-Con. And um, has less buttons. Has less buttons and doesn't have a a joystick. Oh no, it doesn't no. It doesn't now. And, no, uh, I'm I'm ready. Call, um, I, I need to practice. Yeah, I'm, it gives me a chance to practice. But um, also as well, I'm six foot three. Well, no need to brag, Carl. What I mean is like to put into perspective. I am I'm six joking, foot three I'm and yeah. using the literal small tripod. So you have to give me a chance to get used to the eight bit. It's doing. fine. Like Cade's here for my handicap, apparently. Like he's here for just so distraction. Purposes. Every dunk I land is going to be quite like, an absolute ledge. Oh, 8 bit do, let's go. Oh, the 8 bit do. Luke, what do you do? What do you do when the 8 bit do comes for you? Oh, I did it. Wow. Oh, the wind. There we go, you did it, Carl. Well done. Oh, no, he's alive. Oh, God, no, the wind. I should have no, done no, that. No. Uh, I, people can see just in the corner of our webcam, like the most needy boy ever. Oh, God, no! I've killed myself. Oh, twice. God, no. Luke, I'll get used to it. If I got used to a joy I can get used to this piece of shit. <laughs> Kane, well, it's okay, right. Are you gonna be able to settle on my lap? He will be. Maybe I should pick an easier character to use. Because that is not what he wants. He doesn't want to settle on here. He, he, fuck, you can't have my cider. No. I've got a cider as well, so it's, I, I feel I'll only get stronger. <laughs> 
Like, Cage, you cannot drink on this stream. Yes, he can. Get your dog drunk. <laughs> you know what? Let's pick a slightly easier character to use. One that doesn't require as much, like, technical know-how. So I think I'll go for a con as well. I'll pick just the wise con. I need wise con right now. I never blame my controllers. Get some blanket. I never blame controllers for my inability to play the game. I only ever blame uh, missed inputs. Which and is... And a bit of Nintendo Online Live. Yeah. I'd rather blame a little Nintendo. Bit this is a third party controller. I don't trust it. The thing is, though, like, we've all got equal amounts of Nintendo Online Live. There we go. Uh, let's, let's get Cade wrapped in this blanket over here, then. The hot dog. The hot dog. Let, let's make him the hot dog. He becomes a sausage dog. A little. Let's go. I need, I need some wise Kong right now. I, I need to be a wise Kong. So apologies to anyone in chat that's like, uh, you know, oh, I need you to play at high tier level. It's like, fuck you, I've got my dog. Also as well, I'm using 8-bit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I Lucas, he can't do tilts. Just realised. No. He can't do up tilts. Can we have a go? Can I do an up tilt? Let me check. Hang on. I, okay, so I can do an up tilt, but it comes out as a smash a lot. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to do them. We're on the D-pad, yeah, I'll admit. Oh. With twat. What do you do in the 8-bit dude field? I need to land a dunk with this thing. The first dunk I land, that's it. I'm, just go I'm going. I'm going to go through <laughs> and tell my girlfriend, look where I'm sex right now. I've landed a dunk with an 8-bit dude. <laughs> we'll leave the microphone on. The guy's in the sand. <laughs> what do you do? <gasps> oh, I Lucas, I'm instinctually trying to taunt. I can't do it. This is the worst. I can't do like the Donkey Kong taunt anymore. Oh, I'm about to plug in two controls at once. Someone's told me though that apparently you can somehow get a wee nunchuck running on this thing. So I'm tempted what? to maybe. Because you can plug it in apparently to one of the third party controllers. So I might get a wee nunchuck. Would you say a wee nunchuck's more difficult? I mean, the neighbor do, yeah. You got two buttons and a stick, Carl. I can, I can figure that out. Two buttons. It's a two button fighter. <laughs> it is a two button fighter. Or maybe like plug that in just so I can have like the dunk on it. Or the um, uh, taunt. Like plug yeah, it in. It's like yeah. my dedicated taunt stick. Can you imagine that? It's having a dedicated taunting oh! part of my controller. Oh, this is so good. I love it. Oh, get back. There we go. Like equal ground. I'm holding my own, I say. Oh no, this thing's date. I love it. The slaps, oh, the crocodiles. I don't want to fight these crocodiles. The crocosaurus. Ooh, no, it's good. Mashing buttons are really difficult on this. Yeah. You being a needy bitch again, Kate. I thought you were about me then. I was like, you cheeky fuck. You're just here and whining. Like, Kader took off the day out for you today. Oh, I did it. Lucas, was it worth it? Ooh. Was it worth it to almost lose the Cinder? Oh, the dunk! Oh, damn it. Oh, god damn. No. Yes. Do it. Do it. Oh, take oh. it. No, oh, I said I'm dead. There we go. There ah. we go. You know what? I think I held my own. You did. I think I did all right. Maybe on a stage where I can't sink below the stage. <laughs> Oi. Hey. It's okay, baby. Oh, God, no. Oh, 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 oh. The attack kisses are coming in. Oh, that's it. Oh, the I, think, I think no, I've got a link okay. to your stream. There we go. So if you want to go see, you know what? I'm going to click on this. I want to see Lucas get attacked by his dog. <laughs> I can't even wear my headphones. Uh, the thing is, I'm now wearing headphones because so many fucking people complain about that echo. I don't think Carl's Joy-Cons are a lot of drift. Uh, no, they don't. Actually, no. My left Joy-Con does, but I play to compensate for the drift. But like he, he's all over the tape. Yeah. He always is. Oh, is he gonna chew on like the soft bit of your headphones? Oh no, no, like my plug in my ear, like my uh, earring. Ah, okay. I'm just gonna try up until Charlie gets here. I'm just gonna try some of the different characters and find out what character is best for the, yeah for this oh. thing. Okay, that's enough. Like, Donkey Kong's fine. I can play Donkey <laughs> Kong. Be able to play. That's enough, buddy. 
Let's like wrap that. you up. Right, let's put like a just a, a more standard stage on. Oh uh, yeah. Just until I get used to it. Because bear in mind as well, when I first started playing with the Joy-Con, it took like two or three games. I was like, I can play with this. <laughs> and you're like, do you want like the little controller add-on? It's like, no, I don't need it. <laughs> yeah. So I guess what I could do for like the next game is I'll just put um, the camera down, I guess, to see my hands because yeah, I am playing with the 8-bit dude. Oh, okay. Just people, people now. Give it a go. It's great as well because my thumb covers up the entire thing. <laughs> like my thumb covers up the entire controller. Oh, it's going to be a fun map. So I guess oh, I'll yeah. point it out so people can see my desk and they can just see the little 8-bit do. You can see the little do. Let's go. You can see it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try. Uh, this is something I've been joking about Carl doing ever since he's <laughs> got the It's been like a running joke in the friend group for so long. Right, oh, like, Carl, this is a, the one controller small on the fucking Joy-Con. I'll let that play it. I can't talk to him because there's no respect. There's no bowels of respect. <laughs> Which, you know what, though? When you play with this controller, there is no respect. Oh, he got me. Oh, I can still get these fucking sides. So how much have you practiced with this? Uh, I literally checked to see if it works. Because I was worried, <laughs> will it even work without the um, the D-pad? Uh, sorry, without oh, the yeah. joystick. Because when you plug it in to check if you can put it in your screen, uh, mm. movement is not listed on there. Because obviously you can't change your movement input. Yeah. So all the D-pad was just registered as taunts. But when I went into test, it worked fine. That was the only uh, practice okay. I did. So I thought, you know what? It'd be funny to practice on stream. Because I'm used to the Joy-Con, this doesn't feel that much different. So I guess it's programmed as an analog stick, but with four yeah. inputs. Yeah. Great. Good job, Yandor. It's so annoying that I can't tell. And then I had to mix up my grabs because both of the top, both L and R were both uh, shield. So I put one yes. to grab, one to shield. That's now, what happens with the GameCube part. Yeah. So that's the only thing I did with it. Um, Everything else is just stock. I want you to change. The like, GameCube had both L and R or um, shield instead of grab, but I had to change. Well, I didn't even change it. I had to change my gameplay style. Um, oh god, damn it! Yeah. So, uh, so I got used to pressing A during shield instead ah, okay. of pressing Z to grab. The annoying thing for me is I want um, you have like a spare button. You have a mm. spare button because you've got two buttons that both do jump. So I try to set one of them to just like down taunt, and you can't. Uh, so I was like, if I could just change you. one button to taunt, I'll just press that. And I'll just have like down taunt on everything. You can't. I love that. And I hate games where they don't oh, let you do that. I, let yeah, me change yeah. every button. I want every button to do F, um, be able to change to whatever the fuck I want. I want to be able to set like down taunt to select. You like the X-Men video. I'm glad because like... That's a bit of a controversial one to put out there, isn't it? So far, the feedback has been, even people who don't like the idea of changing too much, like, oh, but Lance Reddick, that's a fucking amazing casting choice. Oh, fuck, yeah. Like, it really is. He looks so much like it. How much does the controller cost? It cost me a tenner. This is a yeah, ten... it's a cheap controller. Yeah. The reason I bought it, I bought it for the joke of I play with a Joy-Con. And my friends always said, oh... Um, you should get a worse controller. And I said, I'll get a worse. If you can find me a worse controller, I'll learn to play with it. It wasn't even that it was worse, it was just that it was smaller. Yeah. Like, oh, man, like, imagine using something as small as a Joy Con. Hey, Carl, use something smaller. Yeah. Ooh. So now that I have two arms actually free. Oh, okay. Is that what you're going to blame? But got... Cade was, like, resting on my arm last night. Some Cade interference. That's oh. going to be tonight. That was nice. I tried, Lucas. I tried to go for the honor. It's okay, Kane. It's okay. So I can teabag. It's close as I can get. When I'm uh, teabagging. Kane, don't eat the GameCube pad. Don't eat the GameCube pad. It's so tasty. Like, he's trying to smash you. He's like, he's, he's at the C stick, so maybe he's just trying to do a smash on you. He is. That's what he's trying to do. He sees the C stick, I can do it. <laughs> no! No, Kane! No! What's he doing now? He's kissing me. Good. Oh. Ah, you coward. <laughs> oh, God. Hey. Oh, he's fucking these size 19s.
This is just the day of who can pick the pin yeah. in the cab. Oh god. <laughs> oh, this thing! Yeah. He's like, it's coming back. That's an off cade. These jabs. These fucking Ganon jabs. There we go. Does it feel good, Lucas? Does it feel good? Have your stream with Acer. It'll be fun later. Lucas, does it feel good to lose to the 8 bit dip? <laughs> I can't Ooh. wait so we can all meet up in real life and I can just do this. I yeah. can just like bust it out and be like, yo guys, don't worry, I've got my controller. I can't wait until we can all meet up and cake and sabotage you guys instead. Oh, I wanna put, I'll put him in my, my lap. That'd be ace. Cade will just be like, all about the kisses. He always is. I still want to figure out though how I can connect a Dance Dance Revolution mat to this game. <laughs> yeah. And play with that. Play with the Dance Dance Revolution. The thing is, I am starting to get cramp in my thumb, so I might have to switch over to the Joy-Con. Already. Um, already. I might have to find Fucking a different hell. way to hold it. It's a tiny part. It is, yeah. It's not meant it's meant for like Mario Kart and stuff, obviously. Yeah. It's not meant for like Smash Bros. You've got to do like 30 inputs per second. But Carl, Smash Bros. is a, a party game. It is, yeah, it is. I saw something great though on like I was scrolling through Reddit earlier. And there was just like this random shit post, like one of the Smash communities. It just said, do you know that um Bubble Bass from Spongebob, the really fat guy. And the guy who orders like all the Krabby Patties. Oh yeah, yeah, It's just yeah. like a picture of him and it's just like edited to be wearing like a Dragon Ball hat and it just says, a pro melee player telling a kid playing Ultimate that they're playing the wrong game. <laughs> and I went, why has this only got like, it's got like 20,000 upvotes, but it's only got like 100 comments, what's going on? It's been like um, limited on its comments because melee fans were so salty about it. <laughs> it's like fuck it, like, way to live up to the stereotype being portrayed in the image you're bitching about. Yeah. What do you do? Oh, eight bit dude. Oh, that was a pass. Hey. How do you do this? I think more people are here for the dog than the street. Why not? I am. That's why, I link That's why I've got it just up in another window. Wow. 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 I'm doing my best, guys. Oh, oh. Ah, he got me. Been killed. That's enough. Ow. Wow. Why would Fucking you do that? <laughs> <laughs> No one's having fun today. <laughs> That's uh, the one in it. It's like no one's having fun today. Kade has met like a few people, um, like close family members and stuff. But yeah, he has a, He's maybe met like six, seven other people. Yeah, he's not met me yet. He's not. He's not met Carl. He's That's not all, met the big one. Yet. I told you, I'm getting him a fucking mustard costume. That mustard costume is amazing. Everyone always thinks you say that. Oh, you mean like a, a, a hot dog costume? No, a mustard costume. <laughs> it's a costume that makes him look like a... Right. Hey, a how are you the blanket, buddy? He's having none of this shit. You know what, let's do it. You know what? It's time. <laughs> Kate, settle down. Why are you giving me the eyes? Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this? The insult. I love my little tiny controller. This is the funniest Nothing. thing I've ever done. My hair is nice and new. Thank you. God damn it, Kate. Now he's trying to get onto the desktop. It's like, no, Kate. Yes. Oh. Little Mike coming in. Right, it's good to have a puppy, but sometimes you just think, I wish I had an old dog that was just happy to just lie down at my feet and not move. I know, right? I keep getting annoyed, no, I can't you're talk. You're adorable, but you're needy as fuck, bit. I can't tell, it's can super annoying. You are a needy bitch. So, I keep thinking you're talking to me instead of a dog. Well, I, I wasn't talking to the dog, Carl. <laughs> you're so needy, I need my talk. I'm gonna beat you with Little Mac, and I'm using the 8-bit do what now? Ooh, I'll get wrecked. Ah, oh, shit. No. Ah, oh, damn it, little man. There we go. Oh, 
thing is, we do have a, a video of the uh, Fantastic Four if we gave a damn about the Fantastic Four. Well, I think I don't give a shit. They're going to be introduced by just being put in a movie. It's like, oh, they were always here, and Reed Richards was too busy in his lab. Done. That's all you got to do. <laughs> oh, where was he during Infinity War? He was in his lab. Just say, oh, I am say waiting for, like, the, oh, um, Chris Evans has been Johnny the whole time. The entire, that'd be quite good. Yeah. Work the body. Work the Ganondorf body. Nice. Oh, the fake! The, like the no mix up mix up. Oh, do it. Come on, Ding. Oh. Why would you do this? Melee players got mad at Hungry Bots playing Ultimate. Melee players, like, if you just say melee players got mad, I believe whatever you said after that. <laughs> it's like a thing of gamers, right? Of gamers yeah. are upset. Oh. Oh. What the hell, punch? Oh no! That, that one is it, gamers are upset, and it's all you yeah. need. Just put that. So, what do you mean we can't play an unofficial mod of this 25 year old game <laughs> at a tournament sponsored by Nintendo? Whoa, what the fuck? You're banning it. And hopefully, when Charlie comes on stream well, later. You go down. You're gonna have to go back downstairs, buddy. Just put you in bed with Jenna. Is she alright anyway? Uh, Jenna's still in hospital. Oh god, damn it! I didn't realise. Yeah, um, Back like, tomorrow, not, nothing serious. It's just like a um, a surgery that that's been planned. But, but it's like it's even routine stuff still requires like um, a lot of. Um, yeah, uh, she's gonna have to like stay overnight and stuff, and she'll hopefully be be discharged tomorrow. I hope she's okay. Uh, yeah, everything went fine. So she's just like high out of her mind in a bed in a hospital somewhere right now. And obviously I would be there, but I'm, I'm not allowed to like COVID. Like, yeah. I'm not just, fuck you, Jenna, I'm going to stream still. Yeah, it's like you can't even go to uh, well, I'm not allowed in hospital. Yeah. So, so it's all fine, it's all good, but yeah, me and Kate are alone together tonight. Kate, don't tell Jenna that we're going to spoon later though, yeah? yeah? Have you seen Adam's edit the raffle video? No. Oh, get in that ear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Stop beating me. <laughs> yeah, hopefully she has a swift recovery, but like, I uh, plan on taking an easy week and just looking after her and stuff, so. It's the easiest way. Same with the recording, because we're so far ahead on everything. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Okay. Right, I'm ready. Let's go. So he's, he, that's why he's like up here with me, but also being especially needy today, because. He's he's kind of just confused at why the why is Jenna not here. I'm ready. Ooh, a little max in with boy. The smallest control required. The littlest of max. Oh damn! Try to cross up. Oh, oh cross damn. up, girl. Oh, oh Lucas taking no oh, shit. No. Yes, <laughs> the reset. What do you do, Lucas? Perfect, exactly as planned. My games. That's my turn. Shit. Mind game, baby. Ah, oh, it dragged me in. <laughs> Get some, some fat jabs. Oh, no. Oh, and the penis. Right in his gun and penis. No. Oh, no. Why yeah. would you land? Lucas, why would you ever land? Oh god, no. Go on, little Mac. Thanks. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm just gonna get the KO on 0% because I'm Mac. Oh, oh damn it! I was hoping to armor through. Oh, no. Done it! Look at that. Look at this perfect character that requires no edits whatsoever. <laughs> Someone literally in my chat was just saying, Oh, I'm reminded they get that guy bitching about Gannon's room set last week. My favourite thing is how mad he got of like, God, I can't argue with anyone. It's like, no one's arguing, we're telling it to shut up. Like, he was such a weirdo.
No, no, I could get a lot of sarcasm, don't worry. Just like, I never understand that argument. Oh, but you recorded all this content. Why don't you just drop it all at once? What's that, sorry? Oh, no, just like, yeah, why don't you drop all your content at once? Rather yeah. than being ahead. Oh, is that like a piss take? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at these chompers, man. Like, okay, just show off your big teeth. He's um, he's he's getting adult teeth now, and he's just got, That's he's got like a proper comical like. I say, uh, wait a second, smile. Like uh, his oh, front God. teeth have become so wide and chunky. Hey, buddy, it's fine. Oh, Lucas, um, unban requests. Um, I, was jo I was joking when I said that I would spam the chat. I thought it was obvious that it'd be a joke. I mean, okay, it might have been obvious to you, but live in a world where people actually act like that. Yeah. And I have to put up with it. And the moment you see it, it's like, no, fuck off. And someone might be joking, but someone there might just spam chat. Mm hmm. Look at this as well. Boy, it's fine. Oh, there we go. Honestly, I am gonna have to put you downstairs if you keep doing this. Perfect. Sorry. I'll just figure something out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, as I mentioned, Kate is just sad sounding because, like, he's had enough attention today, but. He's now not got attention, and Jenna's not here, and he's a bit confused. And... Yeah, it's all, a bit, it's all a bit sad for him, so I might have to just, like, settle him in his crate. In a have little you bit. ever played or seen SSF2? Um, was that Super Street Fighter 2, maybe? Maybe? The fact that I don't know where it is means I'm probably not. Oh, God, maybe God. Street Fighter 2. Like, who the fuck hasn't played Street Super Fighter? Smash Flash 2? That means it's a fan game for Smash now. No. Like every time we stream Smash, we get asked, have you played this shitty knockoff of Smash? It's like, no, because I've got Smash Bros. Yeah. Like, why would I play the knockoff when the version I've got is better? Okay, it's okay. Thanks. Thanks, Cade, with a reset. What you're going <laughs> to see is now Cade checking his little phone. That says thank you. Right, Treat, he's going to go downstairs. He's, he's not coping well with this, uh, this stream business. Right, you're a shit me. co host, mate. I'm not going to lie. Oh, dude, just one sec. There we go. So easy. This guy came in and just spammed 30 seconds. And then let's just block him as well. So he can't send me a message. Ask it to be unbanned. It's like, no, it was a joke. I love how easy that is. And as well, how pissed off people get that they can't do it. Strange, ain't it, Lucas? Yeah. Just come in, spam, get banned. It's like, ha ha! Especially on my chat where I'm literally sat next to the screen. I can just see it. Oh, these jabs. Please. It's the reason I love Little Mac, just forward smash. You, you don't <laughs> need anything else. You need one button and it's fucking forward smash. Oh, God, man. Look at it. It's forward smash. Well, that would have killed me on, like, previous smash. Oh. <laughs> it would have done. Like, who thought making that, um... Make it out with God damn it. Wow. Oh god, I'm not putting Kate down, no. I'm putting him downstairs. That was a really awkward time for your audio to cut out. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck it, he's whining it, I'm putting him down. Yeah, why'd you get so many spams while a larger streams have less than you? I don't think it's that I get less. I think it's just that um I don't often announce the stream to many people, like using yeah. the channel or whatever. So when that happens, you always get those knobheads who come in and go, haha, I'm going to go in and just spam and see what happens. They get banned instantly. Oh, yeah, it's amazing how many people, like someone in my chat is like, why don't um, people, why do people like choose to break chat rules? People see that chat rules pop up, click OK, break the rules, and then get pissed off when they get banned instantly. Like, it's a great, a great play. And anyway, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I'm just gonna yeah, no sell K downstairs and put him in his crate because 
Could you not he's bring just like, not doing well with this like a bed upstairs or something, or do you, you just worried he'll go behind the PC or whatever? Uh, he, he doesn't have a bed upstairs or anything. Ah, I see. There's carpet upstairs, so he might piss on the carpet. I've been there. Now, he's completely um, toilet trained and hasn't gone in the house, but if he goes on the carpet, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Like, if he does just break his toilet train and randomly the carpet screw. That makes sense. That's and last that. week, he, um, he ate some dog shit and threw up. So, you know, oh, if that happened on a carpet, it's not going to go well. Right, um, no worries. Back in a minute, mate. I'll see you then. Yeah, so goodbye, Cade. Say goodbye to chat. Come on. Ugh. There we go. Is the arena free to anyone? Yeah, the code is in the Discord, as it always is, every week. Which I've forgotten to post it in the Discord this week. Damn. There we go, Fat Fiend, official Discord. Sort out right now while Luke's is going to do his own thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, I love. Oh, it's, oh, I'm not going to subscribe to my own fucking channel, that's why. That's why this is such a ball ache. Like. There we go. Salted. Back in Discord. There we go. I think that's working. Yeah, appears to be. No, I wait, Lucas. <laughs> Welcome to Twitch. I've been on Twitch for like two years. Uh, are you a UMVC3 fan? Yeah. Um, before anyone asks, the team was um, Chris Redfield, Nemesis, and Thor. So yeah, I intentionally always pick the worst or most unoptimal thing in games to try and win with it. And that's why I'm playing with this. Look at it, it's teeny. There we go, I am back. There we go. Fix the um, option. I'm ready. The Discord is invite only. Um, for Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where Charlie is, but... He said he was playing... I forget the name of the thing he said, but I think he's playing like a, uh, a Discord. He's doing streaming. Not streaming, but like playing a um, uh, roleplay campaign, I think. More like D&D. Something like that, yeah, he specifically said, what was it now, uh, in the Discord, uh, run of risk of rain. So I'm guessing that's like a, oh. a thing. Uh, to me, like Charlie saying he's not playing uh, Dota or Smash is weird. Yeah. But he might Charlie, be... Charlie not being like, I'm busy on Dota is just like, wait, what? He might be always like with Among Us, which like, yeah, just an excuse to talk to our mates. No, exactly, yeah, yeah, like, fair enough. I'm not pissed off. Which Marvel Chris is best? Chris Ultimate Marvel because Marvel Infinite is just terrible. It's the same oh, character God, yeah. with worse animations. Yeah! Mine's bigger. A game that's like eight years later and looks worse and plays worse. And has less characters. <laughs> and has less cool characters as well. And as well, it takes up more memory. Do you know it? Because it's so poorly optimised, it takes up like 40 gig. 50 gig. Like, Dragon Ball Fighters, as good as Dragon Ball Fighters looks, is about 20 gig. Marvel Infinite is about 50 to, like 40 to 50. And think about how good, like, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters looks. And, um, that thing is, they really got... They really, like... Uh, they didn't get rid, but they really weakened the comic book style of Marvel vs. That's why, that's why it was so good. It was timeless. Yeah. There were people who legitimately thought that, um... Marvel Ultimate was a better version because they announced after Infinite to get people hyped. Oh yeah, here's the definitive edition of that game. 
on like Xbox yeah. One with like better graphics and all the DLC and stuff. It, like, it looks like a bigger game because it has every character in it with a few extra ones and it's got a better art style. Mm -hmm. Proof it was ever needed that graphics don't mean anything. It's all about art style. Art style always trumps graphics. So what's, if a game looks good but doesn't feel fun to play, what's the point? Or doesn't look like interesting at all? It was boring to play. Like, more vs. Cup from Infinite, I mean. Like, I downloaded that game um, when it was on Game Pass, I think it was. Yeah. And it was boring. And the demo was awful for it. Just taunting me by your taunts. You're taunting <laughs> that you can taunt. No. Oh, oh the fake there we go. Well, unless the graphics are complete shit. RE Cap America. Well, we're not talking about art style. Yeah, not graphics, art style. Yeah, art style trumps graphics. Like, something like Smash Bros, where people would argue the graphics aren't the best. Because it has such a strong, cohesive art style. And it has like a very obvious vision that is um, um, very well realised. Mm -hmm. That trumps almost any other game on any system. Or something like Hades. The graphics yeah. are incredible, but it has a very strong art style that is realised incredibly well. So it exactly. looks good. And that's probably have... one of the better looking games of the year, despite not technically being one of the most graphical like showcases. It doesn't need to be, does it? Oh, no. Goal. Goodbye. Thank you, Dolphins. Oh, God, I didn't have a second joke. Well, well, well. Oh, I was trying to like tech off the dolphin. <laughs> oh yeah, Risk of Rain 2. That's ringing the bell now. That's like the like co-op shooter roguelike, right? Oh, okay. Like, so I remember um, seeing that and being like, oh, I don't remember Risk of Rain 1 and uh, apparently number 2 was a big deviation from number 1 and they changed it to a shooter. I might be pulling shit on my ass right now. Who is your main in Marvel? Nemesis. Carl did love this Nemesis. I'm a Nemesis main. But I think I, last time I like um, played that game against a human being oh, yeah. was when Carl did an infinite combo with Spider-Man on me. And I just went, no, I'm, I'm okay. I spent an entire weekend going through the, the uh, mission modes and stuff and learning a few characters and then Carl infinite combo with me yeah. Spider-Man. Alternate characters are Rocket Raccoon, Super Scroll. Because Super Scroll's just hilarious. So I spent an entire weekend learning like, um, like Ryu, Captain America, Ryu Super Frank Funny. West, um, Virgil, uh, like a few characters, Strider. I went through all of the like, mission moves and stuff that I couldn't get hit on you. It was like, What's the oh, thing? okay. Knowing the combos is one thing, but like knowing what moves to do in a situation takes like just dozens if not hundreds of hours of just constant gameplay. Yeah. Let's try a simple character. Let's go for Simon. Yeah, right, Simon. Simon. Look at it. This heavy metal album cover comes alive. But he's just an actual like character off the front of a heavy metal album. He's just character. man. He is man the character. But he's heavy metal man. He is, he's great. Like he's 80s just gothic. He horror. is a Man of War album man. cover come to life. Yeah. Deal with it. He doesn't know what cars are though. He wouldn't need to know what they are to like shoot them. <laughs> oh crap. Whip. What do you do? Oh, the power of Christ. No. Damn. Oh, he defeated, that forward, he no. defeated my health. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. So I can get me now. Shit, you came, you came and got me. <laughs> I was hoping I'd thread that needle and I landed on the edge. Yeah. Oh, God, no. Wait, what? No. Did, did anyone else just see him slide past that leg? That was amazing. That was you do. Oh, thank you. Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, there we go. What'd you do? That's my holy water. <laughs> no. Oh, no. You grabbed it back. Burn, heathen. 
don't like each throwing that, you immediately just come straight in. Yeah. Burn he then. Burn he then. What have we got? Thanks, Jesus. <laughs> it's always there for me. Damn, he won't lose. What's up? Getting some KO. Doing his work. Ah, oh, I was hoping he'd go through. Son of a bitch. No! Yes! Run! Put exactly as planned. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. There he is. Look at that, stop just short. Joe Y. Lucas, I've got the power of Christ and anime on my side. <laughs> What do you do? What do you do? Whoa! Anime! No! That I killed! Yeah, Lucas, the power of Christ. Whoa! He vanquished that darkness. Look at him. Lucas, I vanquished the darkness. Fucking hell. Lucas, I vanquished the darkness. Look at him. It is Simon. It is Simon. Right, I'm gonna go for a bathroom break. Yeah, so, you go for it. Yeah. Where is my Marie? Yo, Marie. Stare into the eye. Oh, I can't talk like that. Uh. There we go. Oh, cool, class. I am. I vanquished uh, that darkness. I don't know why we're talking about Octodogs, but yeah, Octodogs can fly. Uh, not all Octodogs can, but... That's what they did in the, um, even like the original game, they jumped out of the water, floated, and shot Roxy. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna vanquish that dance, Luca. I can't talk. Cheap, <laughs> talk is cheap. I can't talk. Oh no, Jesus. There we go. Get off my stuff. There is no bar, there is only by now, Carl. Thank you, Pat. Pat Man. Lucas. I told you I've got Jesus on my side. <laughs> oh, the whip. Oh, the whip, what do you do? Oh, you got more range than my fucking whip. Oh. Oh. oh, that range. That is like the perfect Simon range. Oh, you got me. Oh, bad baby! Oh, there we go. Well, Shit. You. Oh. No, I died as well. God damn it. Who weighs more? I weigh more. Joanne. These fucking balls. <laughs> Was it worth it, Lucas? No. Was it was it worth challenging Jesus? Oh, and knowing. Yeah. God damn worth it, Roy! It. Let's go, Clark. Throws himself off that leg. Oh, 
pass him on. Oh, the whip. I love how, like, much, like... Oh, oh God! Ah! The amount of distance you have on that. Like, you have so much recovery on that um, smash if you block it. There we go, get through the maelstrom. Why? Why would you challenge this? Why would you challenge my Simon? Oh god, no! <laughs> well, the stage is conspiring against me. I must no longer have Jesus on my side. Must throw it out. There we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you, face. No. Come on. Yeah! Go, go the tip. Oh, Roy. No. Yeah, I think making a move to Alvark Garok would be harder than, um, like, Piranha Plant, but it's one of those, he made a move set out of Piranha Plant, he made a move set out of the Duck Hunt Dog, he made a move set out of We Fit Trainer. He can do what he wants, man. But is the Octorok that iconic a thing? Uh... That's the thing is, I would argue that if it's an enemy from the Zelda... If you're going to put a Zelda thing in, put in one of the heroes from the... Uh, well, no, the if, if you were doing like the gimmick thing from Zelda, like Piranha Plan, it would still probably be like maybe a Moblin. Yeah, generic enemy. Um, maybe they'd fight as a group. Than, rather than an Octorok, but if, if they're going to put a Zelda character in, why isn't it a Bosa? Like, yeah. give me a moveset, throw it away, and tell me why it should be a Bowser, because it should be fucking a Bowser. Man, that fucking cape looks so good. DDD looks so good in this game. <laughs> that dressing gown looking clean. Oh, well, you know what, that was worth it. But Carl, speaking of um, Breath of Wild and characters and stuff, did you see mm -hmm. the thing I retweeted? Oh, the thing where Link eats a rock. Yeah, he just gets given a heated rock by the roof and, and he eats it. Um, apparently in the end of the cutscene, he's just like loving life. What like, he's have? absolutely adoring in giant flaming rock. What do you know? He's got a rock. Link does it. Link loves it. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I need to, like, try and get the parry on this. Like, if Link didn't already prove in Breath of the Wild that he's the manliest of men, just the Gorons being like, here's some rock to eat, and he just goes Not rock, just flaming hot rock. He's like, fucking yeah. it. <laughs> just roasted rock. He's like, you know what, yeah. And he even says in the item description, like, only oh, Gorons can eat these rocks. The thing is, again, like, they like, say... fuck it, yeah. They also, also say, like, only Gorons can swing, like, around Cobble Crusher. <laughs> And Link just swings it around like no one's business. It's oh. kind of um, similar to Ocarina of Time, where it's like, oh, um, do Runia recognizes Link as like a Goron brother? Because he's like, he's that good. Yeah, he's just like, fuck it, you've earned this title, Link. Worth it. I just love that as being like part of every Link's canon. That manly just... enough to come off as a Goron. Just manly enough to earn their respect. Yeah. Just to become like to be like an honorary Goron. Oh, the dolphin. Go back to emulate your Smash games, poorly. Oh. oh, the little star. Oh, God. Last thing is, like, it's such... A Bosa is the most obvious choice of any obvious choice of what Nintendo character to come into Smash yeah. X. And it hasn't happened oh, in three years. Or combine all three heroes into one character. Four heroes. Or you're just getting rid of Rivali straight Oh, yeah, sorry. Time. Combine all four. <laughs> Rivali doesn't count. Combine all three heroes. So just like give Urbosa like Rivali's Gale and stuff like that. Because um, I saw in Hyrule Warriors, it was like, oh, thanks to Age of Calamity, you can now live out your greatest desire to fight Rivali one-on-one. <laughs> 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 
Show him what it's like. Ready? Are you guys going to do versus Pokemon battles? What do you mean? Is that a request? Okay. What's the number one thing it tells you not to do in chat, mate? Look at that. Luke's in his big snake. Look at that. You're not even going to let me try to learn the 8 bit do. No. Nah, fuck it. Snake coming out now. Like, you beat me as Roy, snakes come out. Luke's in his big snake. Like when chat always tell me to play Snake, this is just what I should come out with. I love how that'll just hit just a little bit. Oh, try and roll. Try and get these DDD rolls in. If chat does want me to play anyone while like Carl's trying to learn, let me know. But right now, I'm angry that he beat me, so I just wanted to shut him down. Yep. I'm safe up here. Whoop. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was thinking, can I fake it out? Because obviously it's kind of does reflect, so it's hitting it back at like reflect damage instead. That's the thing of like, now I know you're going to go for that though, it's always like getting the fake out. Which I love. I love like the mind games in Smash. With shit like this. But I killed! Oh god. Did, did, did. I really hope that the Waluigi never comes to Smash out there. It, it, it's like, it's just... He is such an ugly character. Like yeah, his but, design like, is just... The thing is, in the sports games, like, he, he is genuinely one of my favourites. Because he's, he is just, like, the stupid, just this shouldn't be a character kind of character. But now at this point, like, the internet wanting too much, I never wanted to be in Smash. No. Because you can't reward the internet for bitching at people. Exactly. Don't reward the behaviour of endlessly bitching at Sakurai and making him not want to make this game anymore. Like, half the reason he hates making Smash is people like that. Yeah, exactly. So, I wanted Waluigi until all this, like vitriol around him happen. Also, there's just more interesting picks. There are. Like a Bosa. I inflate. Like, back in, like, Brawl days, if you told me Waluigi was a character, I'd be happy. Now I'm just like, no, fuck it. Why would you do this with this? You know what? I'm going to lie down a cloud. I bet that's pretty soft. I bet lying down a cloud feels ace. Oh. How dare you? <laughs> Did you remember? I knew that that happens as well. Ah, not to the ice though. Not to the ice. You've been watching your playthrough on the Pokemon playthrough on your channel. Sure. It was worth it. Why? Pokemon playthrough is great because me and Carl just love We just talk about Pokemon constantly. It's... Oh, I was. Oh! Oh! No! Oh! oh! <laughs> Lucas, he saw the ice cube and he's kicking it <laughs> under the fridge. Like, you know what? That's tomorrow's problem. Whoa! Yeah. That is ice cube on the floor, kick it under the fucking fridge. Boom, do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, he got so many hits as well. Yeah, he got. That's why I could. I don't think I could mash out of it because I was just hit like no. thirty times. Do, 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 do. How's the control? It's doing all right. I'm kicking ass. I'm doing all right with it. I'm holding my own. Oh, I can't use I can't use Joker. That's just too unfair. It would be considered good marketing at this point, but like also fuck those fanboys. What do you mean? Uh, Waluigi. It's not good marketing at all. Like, like, it would get the hardcore people happy, but also fuck that. But that's like a minority of your audience. Do you know what's more exciting? No, it is, yeah. Any other video game. Last thing is um, Minecraft from Steve. All of, like, you know, players like us were just, eh. And then look how many people it brought in. Or at the very least, look how much the trailer and the announcement yeah. just broke the internet. Like, it li Twitter literally stopped working the moment the announcement came out. Yeah. And it's like, nah, I put Waluigi in, it's good marketing. It's like, it, it would be for the hardcore, 
But compared to an announcement like Minecraft Steve, like, right. that is something most hardcore Smash players are just like, whatever. But the wide audience went crazy. Given as well, what all the news that's been about people who play Smash and take it super seriously that's been out in 2020, why would you yeah. cater towards those guys? Oh, he's shooting me. Snake never anticipated this. Procure weapons on site, child has gone. Ooh, procure weapons on site. Deal with this. Yeah, that's right. Thanks. Thanks. Damn. Ooh, I hate that. Oh no, 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 no. What? Just you grabbing me. I anticipate the hit. Damn. No, there we go. Nailed it. Oh, oh. Fucking hate this character so much. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll just play him once. Oh. Completely invincible. I think it only happens if you take damage. Yeah, it does. But I was annoyed that I was still invincible because I could have taken that damage. I've got ass out. Like he's just run away until he like stops it. Choke. Oh, you mean like you have to run away? Just when you got our sent out. It's like why would I yeah, bother yeah. fighting him? Like, no. Oh my god, that was like rapid. Oh god. Yeah, just grabbing me instead. Oh, it's I the easiest it. way. It's just hard to do it in three player because three player you always get it. That thing is three player. You really always well, have a chance well to get well it. Off. With Joker. You can just jump in and counter. What? No! Try and roll over it. Damn, how are you beating me at CQC? Um, Joker, tall snake, right? No! No! Oh, in the no! feet! No! Yeah! Teamwork. It was me and the rocket launcher working in tandem. You've got your partner, I've got mine. Thing Walk is, it. like, you can't you can't install Ganon like that. You can't say that the Triforce of Power would go from Ganon to Kratos immediately. No. Would you like with Kratos? Like, fucking hell. The thing is, though, like, Kratos has proved if he's thrown in another game world, he has the power to just go and obliterate the other gods. He's just such a boring character. Well, it's less boring than Doom Guy. He's the most one-dimensional character. Um, I still want to see something interesting. Like There was a couple of interesting picks in, you know, Sony Smash Bros. That weren't made interesting characters. Like Ratchet and Clank. Okay. Oh, Ratchet and Clank, it? you could make a super cool move set out of. What's he got a gun? Okay. And he was put in a really boring move like game. Which is the fact everyone in that character just had a gun. Yeah. Every character. And all the best characters had guns. You know, he's like, oh, who are you going to play as? Oh, um, I don't know, Big Daddy, what does he have? A gun and a drill. Oh, okay, who are you going to play as? Nathan Drake. What does he have? A oh, gun. Killzone Guy. Oh, Jack and Daxter. Oh, Ratchet and Clank. What do they all have? Just a gun. Dante, what's he got? A gun. The only one yeah. that was interesting was Raiden. Even though didn't he have a gun? No, he had a sword. It was Raiden from Revengeance. Ah, yeah, it was, yeah. It was the yeah. one interesting character in that game, Revengeance Raiden. And he was, like, really ridiculously bad. And the only reason that he was in the game is because he had a new game coming out. Yeah, Revengeance, And that's really yeah. sad. It's not because he was a cool character because he had a game coming out. 
Because it was like um, Devil May Cry. Like, Dante was not the iconic Dante you all know and love. It was new games coming out in three months. Oh, yeah. Put that guy in. But, oh. That we haven't even had time to like the redesign. And you're going to shove it down our throats. Hell yeah. So here we go. Uh, PlayStation All Stars, also Sony Smash Bros. Yeah. Worst decision that game ever made was to not just be Smash Bros. Yeah. Oh, you have these weird super things that all of your moves um, are completely. Every move you do is completely pointless unless you land this one really boring super hit. So every character like, is just. Some characters could build up to a level 3 and just miss. Yeah. Like the... you'd spend 2 minutes of a match. Building up to one move that could KO and miss it. That oh great, thanks. And any character with good grabs was just ridiculous because um, you'd steal super meter from people with a grab, or you'd knock super meter out of them. So well, essentially, the, steal. eventually, became the only thing that mattered was just does your character have a level one? That's good. Yeah, a good level one. Yeah. Like, they like, min-maxed the fuck out of that game immediately by being like... Like, Raiden. Who has the... the best level ones in the game? They win. Raiden. Because he's just a sword slash, that's really fast. And you can combo into it, so don't. The <laughs> worst decision was to exist, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but the idea of, like, a competitor to Smash Bros. is really cool. It's a shame there's never been one, is there? They made every wrong decision in the book. Like, like, all you need to do is just copy it. Yeah, just copy, just copy it. it and put cool characters in it, not shit ones. Like, they couldn't get to the right to half of the iconic PlayStation characters because they weren't actually owned by PlayStation. I'm like, still mad. Oh, God, no. You know, Crash, Spyro, Tomb Raider, the three, like, mascot, well, Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, obviously. Um, the three icons of, like, the PlayStation, arguably, just not there. I'm still mad that we never got the Ridge Racer car. <laughs> you know what? I've been happy with that. Oh, I like Kiryu. Talking the Yakuza games. Well, I mean, at that point, Yakuza wasn't very popular. Uh, I'm I mean... glad that Yakuza's getting its due now, though. It's weird, though, that it... Like, obviously it's on the PS4, but... Is on the Xbox Series X as a launch title and not on PS5 till next year, and it's like, man, Microsoft must have paid them some money we to go on from Cats. like a PlayStation exclusive franchise to first on next gen Xbox. I just want to start on the Dreamcast, or is that like Shenmue? Shenmue was on Dreamcast. Okay, so that was a Sega game. So that's the game. Rivals of Aether would have cool characters. Rivals of Aether is just not a good game. Like, no, it's just furries. It's Smash for furries. Like, I've played a little bit and the gameplay is really good. It's solid. But why would I play but it when I've got Smash like, Bros? Yeah, the, the gameplay to Smash is also really solid and has 80 characters that I really care about. Whereas Rivals of Ether is what? 12 characters that I don't, I, they're not from anything. I don't care for them. <laughs> Someone came in and spelled my name with a C. Oh, I've been a long time fan of the channel. I thought I'd enter with a joke. Even though the only time I ever mentioned that on the channel I'm banned. is me saying I fucking hate when people do this. Yeah, like, Yakuza Zero is really cool. And, um. Like, that was. I didn't, I didn't get into Yakuza necessarily because I haven't. Really played much of any other game. I've played a little bit of Kiwami, a couple of hours, but other games came along and distracted me. They're just me, but super long. It just it showed me how cool Yakuza is as a series, though. Mm. And the idea that they just went, fuck it, people have had enough of like the seven games, was it? Of um, because yeah. Zero is the seventh one. Um, of Kiryu and the Brawler style. Fuck it, we're just going to make Ichiban a really big Dragon Quest fan, and that's why he's going to see the entire game as an RPG. Why not? Like, why not, Carl? Why not? I could set up a Zelda Smash. What do you mean by that? Like, uh, 
Zelda only Smash Bros? I mean, at this point, Zelda has enough characters to fill its own fighting game. They all do. But why yeah. would you when you own Smash Bros? Exactly. Like, every time, like, someone's taking that to a meeting, the guy's going, but we own Smash Bros. Why would we yeah. do that? Like, it's a cool idea, but we own Smash. Look at this really ugly Incineroar skin. This might be the ugliest Incineroar skin. Uh, one of, yeah. Look at his so Like the Cheeto skin. He loves it. Chester H. He literally looks like a Cheeto's mascot. The Cheeto like, mascot. He's Cheeto's wrestler cousin. Uh, not, wait, is it Cheeto? Uh, Chester. Yeah, Chester the Cheeto. Chester, not Cheeto. Chester. I'm still getting the timing down on that. I, don't play uh, Incineroar enough to like be able to land that. Well, I've played a lot of him, and I'm still getting the timing down on it. I'm back with it. Oh, thanks. Oh, no. No, oh, no! Let me kick you in the neck. Throat shot. At least Incineroar can always get his taunting for me. Yeah, he also taunts. He has it built into his moveset. I might, have to start, I might have to become an Incineroar main for that reason. <laughs> he has the taunt built in. Oh, I can feel that Nintendo like, coming in. You can feel that Nintendo is there, like, oopsie you ready. <laughs> Damn it. Ah! It works. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Oh Thanks. god, no. Two at once. The double revenge. He can get up to five stacks for you. I can't believe that. Because I thought after you... Because obviously it's not a proper counter, is it? No. Because you... Cause it's not like a counter where you throw it out and you lose it. It's like you can just keep doing it. Yeah. But so now I know um, that, I know what my play style is. He does lose it after an amount of time or damage. It's worth it, though. Lucas, why? No, I don't know. I me. thought I had another jump. Rowl. Rowl. Muscle Buster. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, the knee. The Enziguri. Oh, God, no. What's up? Oh, just you. I can't, can't get to you. I'm back. These platforms are getting in the way. Can't fight him. I can't wrestle or fight this cat. Oh, these feet! You know oh, what? He's, he's Cinerol don't mind going down to his <laughs> rock kick. He sees it. He's like, I respect this. Oh. Thanks. I can take it. Thanks. Just the throat chop. Oh, oh god! Oh, there we go. Rah, rah, rah. Oh, Just no. spin. Whoa! Oh, God, no. oh look at Lariat Tubman. Let's go. Look at that. Look at that fuck ugly flaming mustache. She loves it. That luchador costume for Incineroar would be cool. But... No, man. It'd, It'd have to be made entirely from fire. Do it to Pikachu. I don't have this. I don't have it. Um, yeah, like, the whole, um, I don't remember the character's name, but there was a rumour about the Dark Souls Praise the Sun guy being in Smash, but I don't, oh. I don't think it's going to happen. Solaire. Solaire, yeah, that was it. But it's left-handed. I just don't think it's going to happen. Ready? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think it would, shit. um... I don't think it would be iconic enough for anyone outside of that small circle of gamers. I also, as well, um, while I was uploading the community post to advertise this, went, oh, oh yeah, yeah. The, the Dark Souls one got a couple of comments on the Demon's Souls one. The top comment was just, all they did was shit on it all stream. It's like, <laughs> fucking salty Dark Souls fans, man. Except that people don't like your game. I at least someone like, you know, Held through and was like, oh, if you if you want to stream more, I'll help. And like, 
I got a nice side of it, but apparently, yeah, just the... Oh god, I can't believe this shit on it, but... I played, what, two, three hours of that and got through one little level. Oh shit, my second jump. Oh, do it. Hurt me more. Thank you. Okay. Coming in. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Throat shot. I wanted that tea. Yeah, get it. You can't drink tea when you've been throat shot. Thank you. Grab. Oh, oh it clipped. Oh. It clipped. Do it. Thank you. Look at that. Avatar stakes in the roll. Oh god, no, it's cool. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Uh, no, I haven't been able to continue any one piece with Jenna yet, because the only option I found is, like, I can't even find a VPN service to find it on, like, US sites or anything. It's just been like, yeah, download it illegally, it's not great. I love that being my one and only option. It's great, isn't it? Uh, do you want to watch anime? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, you can watch the first 300 episodes. And the last 100, so there's 600 in between, go fuck yourself. Black. Okay. Oh, I was hoping. Oh, okay. I was expecting the, uh... Wrong. Don't pick a light character, Lucas. Just rotate in, just slowly. <laughs> oh god, no. I'm sorry. Just this tiny little squirtle, just throwing him in by the tail. Just, ah! Look at him, he's like giving you a big fist bump and everything, he loves it. Also, Luke's had checked, you cannot use this controller with an Xbox or a PS4. Oh, so I can't play Dragon Ball with it. <laughs> that would be, like, so, so much, Carl. It'd be so demoralising. Um, yeah, one piece on Crunchyroll, and it's like the first 325 episodes, and then the latest arc of like episode 891 onwards. But there's no re like, what is the like design or just no design idea, um, just business decision behind that? Yeah, like clearly someone owns the rights, to those other 300. Well, I look, and apparently, um, Funimation or the people like involved with. Uh, you know, like dubbing it and um, getting it overseas and whatever. But Funimation are like, oh yeah, watch One Piece on our um, streaming app. And again, it's the latest episode of One Piece. Oh no, what uh, Funimation over here had no One Piece. Even when I googled like where to watch One Piece UK, it came up on the Google search. Watch One Piece on Funimation. And I went on the website and it had no episodes of One Piece. That's great, isn't it? When you literally it was fantastic. Cannot, when you literally cannot watch it. I, I want to give you my money. Please take my money. No. It's Game of Thrones all over again. <laughs> so I want to watch Game of Thrones. I'm sorry you can't. You can only get it if you get Sky. But I don't want to pay for Sky. Can I just buy it off you directly? No. Well, it's even worse because there's nowhere for me to get it. It's not even like it's a situation of... I don't want to use that service. It's the only service with One Piece on it in the UK. Only has the first 300 and the last 100 episodes. Which I realise sounds ridiculous for anything else. But when there's over 900 episodes, that's a problem. It means like you're missing half the show. It's like, oh, you can watch all of Friends, but you can only watch season one to five and then the last one. 
Actually, uh, yeah, you get seasons one, two, and three, and season ten. Oh, I need that breath. I need that breath. Carbs. Seasons four to nine. No, you don't need those two. It's fine. Just catch up. Ah, damn it. Thought I was gonna get that razor leaf. Ivysaur, the most manly of Ivysaurs. Ivy! Hey. Ivy! Thanks. Oh, it's happening. <laughs> Ivy! Ivy! It's it. all he's saying is that's all you got trained. Ivy yeah. trained, <laughs> Ivy trained, <laughs> Ivy trained. Bar damage. Oh. oh, it's worth it. That's it, tell me off. It's sweat, it's sweat kicking your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just choke slam this squirtle. <laughs> Have a look. See, for animation, I was Doug to see someone fall by now. I'm not watching Doug. I'm watching subbed, and I can't find it anywhere. Unless you just download it illegally. Yeah, basically. So I guess I'm stealing this. Nah, it's like, it's one of those of like, I don't want to. I really don't. I want to give someone my money to watch it. Well, they won't take it. So you're still they there won't. holding a tenner, and no one wants it. I, I want to message control and be like, do you want my money? Like, can you just put one piece on? If no one else has it, just just put those at one piece episodes on there, please. So I have so much money that I want to give you from Chirol, please. Instead, we're just using it to like you know educate General about my hero academia. Yeah, why not? Okay, so in Stinner Rolls, a character I can play with this thing. I'll go back to my brawler. Yeah. Maybe I can do something more with this brawler. A little brawls. So give me some. I'm gonna grab myself another drink. Yeah, go I've for it. Another, I've got another bottle of cider in the other room, so I'll grab that. That's the ironic thing is. When you're talking about one piece, it's like but to be illegal, it would be to pirate it, and it's a show about pirates. Hmm. Hmm. Is this what they envisioned after all? I know it's not, but like, fucking hell, give me an option. Hey, yeah, My Hero's a great show, and we're basically watching that while I'm trying to figure out how we can watch One Piece. And immediately, like, I forgot how good the opening to that show was, because within, like, three episodes, I was getting emotional. Uh, sorry to everyone. I've just wrote like the end of England is happening. So I'll wait for Carl to get back. Here we go. I'll find out. I'm back, baby. Carl, do you want to know how the world is going to end? Uh, sure. How's the world well, at end? least how England is going to end. Uh, is it going to end at Christmas when lockdown restrictions are getting lifted? Uh, no, e even earlier. Oh, okay. What's happening earlier? Uh, so from December 2nd. Sports fans are going to be back in stadiums. Oh. So it's going to be 4,000 people in Tier 1, or a capacity of 50%. And then 2,000, or a capacity of 50% in Tier 2. They do realise you have to queue to get into those things, right? 
And so have, those in, things uh, have toilets. In, for example, like Anfield, I think it has 30 to 40,000 so capacity. 15,000 people. So 15 to 20,000 people are going to be allowed in one space at once. Oh. And then, two weeks later, we're all going to get together for Christmas. It's, uh, in Sheffield, we've got two football stadiums. Enjoy getting to those football stadiums. You have to queue up. They're in the main road. Just... Oh, that, that's every football stadium. Yeah. Now. Well, I just noticed earlier in the chat, guys, like, I want to do a ban any percent speed run, so... I don't joke about wanting to get banned from stream because all that says to me is I I think it's funny to intentionally antagonize people. That's all I read when I see that. Yeah. I intentionally antagonize people for fun. I'm ready. So um, you know what it reminds me of? Like real energy of. What's that? Um, so back in high school, um, bear with me, my like maths class, Okay. they were all dickheads, or half of them were dickheads, to the point where they had a game of who can get detention the earliest, and my teacher had to get to the extreme point of, you are all assholes, I'm going to start giving out Saturday morning detentions, oh. and within about a week or two, they all went, no, we don't live very far away and we don't do anything on the weekend. It is more of like a hassle for the teacher to have to come in for the detention on a Saturday morning. So they tried to get Saturday morning detentions as quickly as possible. Well, and it's like, great. So this teacher like basically dug her own grave. Of, I will give out Saturday morning detentions. And these loser kids when fuck it, we ain't got nothing to do on Saturday, bring it. Is that great? That great. reminds me um, of all the kids that I knew in high school where they would do nothing but shit talk how much they hated school and how sh like, our oh, school's crap, school's for losers. They'd get suspended, all they would do is stand outside school waiting for the mates to come back. <laughs> and then when they left school, all they would do is stand outside of school and hang out with the mates because, yeah. And all they do now when I bump into them is talk about school. Yeah. And they're like, oh, do you remember this in school? It's like, no, mate, that was 15 years ago. I hate that. Like, um, I haven't seen many people from school in the past couple of years, let's say. But there were those definite people that it's like, I'd meet up with them. Oh, remember when this happened in school? It's like, mate, have you not done anything with your life? It's been 10 years. It's been 10 years, it's been over 10 years, like, is that all you give a shit about? Oh, but wasn't this thing in school really funny? It's like, yes, and it's fun to, like, reminisce every now and then, but, like, what's, what's going on with you? Oh, not much. But do you remember when this happened in school? Remember when we did this? Yeah. It's like, oh! Luke's It Begins. How do you, how do you defeat the king? There are, there are those definite people that are just... Stuck in that like high school past, and well, it's because they just never peaked. Very time. Yeah, I know people who all they ever talk about is like college and stuff. Is that all they ever talk about? Is... Uh, again, talking about stuff in uni, like reminiscing, is fun. But when you've got nothing past that, it's like, oh, dude, really? The feet. That education is not life, people. This thing is, for them, it wasn't even education. It's just the only time in their life where they could actually hang out with their friends because the rest of the time they've ever spent it on the phone or at work. Yeah. Ah, I'm never going to time that right. How is this Peach one? Oh, yeah, it's because it's one this stage, of course. It's like this there Peach is on 187%. Why? Oh, because it's <laughs> fucking Hyrule Castle. The precursor. That kicking lightning. Looks like joining. Oh on. damn it! I had more damage. <laughs> it's like that, that's a trick right there, isn't it? Aha! The fool. He thinks he trapped me in the tornado. But you know as well when you're in there, Pichu was just lightning bolting my balls <laughs> for the insult. Just laughing and just bolting them. Oh my 
God, that Pichu went so far. As well, surviving a counter oh, oh! as Pichu on 150%. Come on, just die. Oh. Thread that needle, damn it. Oh, God damn it. Nailed it. Oh, punch. <laughs> Catch him. I'm scared. I'm scared this Pichu is getting, getting angry. He's, he's angry. He's got the, adre the adrenaline orb going. Oh, damn it. I thought I'd nailed that. I thought I'd got the perfect um, uh, distance on it. Oh! You thought you also had the perfect one there as well, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, shit. There he is, the kick. It begins. It's now time, so who, who's got the most bullshit? No, oh, no. bye, Lucas. Oh. No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Oh, yeah. yes, go. Look at that, the casual clap. I love it. Okay, Charlie is online, but he's not playing. He's taunting. Oh, he's, he's, he's gonna rock up. He's gonna rock up and just be like, yeah, got this. Perfect. Keep an eye on all this. Yeah, things going good. Oh shit, yeah, I'm a crunchy roll order, speaking of which. Hang on, what? Crunchy roll order, they had a um a Junjay Ito collaboration. So I ordered my girlfriend um, uh, something for her birthday. Oh, okay. It's like a denim jacket with Jungie Yeti down the back. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. All that weave shit, let's go. <laughs> Ooh, I just got the, uh, I was checking. Oh, what's that email? Oh, it's the one that I had earlier. Ah, oh, weave shit. I just realized, oh yeah. I was like, Crunchyroll, we've just been talking about that. I'm like, why have I got that in my email inbox? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kato and Dancer. He's just chilling. He's, he's doing all right, but I just felt like he'd already spent an hour on his crate while I went to the shop. He got half an hour with me, and then would be going straight back in his crate. I felt like it's a bit harsh. Let's try him out here, but he's proven he can't be trusted. He's 10,000 jabs. Well, let's fight in this house. You don't even want to know what's going on in this house, Lucas. Nah, that's Pichu, though. Is it? Whatever, it's my house now. <laughs> it's my house now. Shit, give me my house back. I told you it was my house, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Just the rage. I knew you'd get it at some point. Oh, there we go. Nearly. Yeah. I'd love to get a big walking, big bangers endorsement. Do not do that. If you do that, I will hate you. There's, uh, it is a joke that has already gone old for me. And in, keep in mind. And in five years' time, time, I'm gonna stop giving a shit about it. What shadow one? I don't know. Sounds awesome. Is it a Yu Gi Oh thing? Might be World of Warcraft, I believe. It sounds very World of Warcraft y. There we go, the little feet. These croc feet. The old Crocosaurus. Oh no, please. My house. Nah, oh god damn it, no, it's, it's stormy <laughs> up here. 
Yeah, I got a lightning rod on your roof. What I want to see is like just Pichu headed that back. That's what That'll I want to see. Just, just Pichu just headed it back. Oh, there we go. Wait a minute. Thread this needle. Oh no. It's the next wow expansion. There we go. What? Yeah. Just I, I remember hearing about it getting delayed. And I was pretty sure that was the name of it. But at this point, like, especially with COVID going on, I always always think like if something needs to be delayed, delay it, but I completely understand right now why things are getting delayed. So you got a perfect reason excuse for it. You have a perfect excuse, but even if you don't, if it needs <gasps> to be delayed, like if it's not ready, just delay it. I, I, I think Marvel's Avengers is the perfect case. Yeah, that needed like another six months in the oven. Yeah, it really did need more time to brew. And they just went, nah, fuck it, weak tears. It's like, Lucas, don't worry though. Um, uh, Hawkeye's daughter can save it. Yeah, Hawkeye's daughter's coming out delayed after the game's lost 95% of its players. It's like, do you know what character people really want to play as this year? What character is really like, you know? Like, not only is it's not even Hawkeye, it's Hawkeye's daughter or the Hawkeye. Like, you know that one character that gets like shit on? for being the unpopular Marvel Avengers character. Oh my god! Hitbox. It's like, no one gives a shit about Hawkeye. And they're like, okay, okay, okay. Well, here is out Hawkeye's daughter. Yeah. And what? then what's the second character? Hawkeye. Yeah, not Black Panther. <laughs> oh my god, that was... Go and enjoy WoW. If you're like, a cynical cash Hopefully it's better than Destiny launches where you don't get to play for the first day. It's World so, of Warcraft, enjoy. It? Hopefully the it servers works. were like designed for when that game was the hottest shit in the world, so... Because that's the thing, is the argument of Destiny of, um... Okay, well, if they're gonna have 300,000 players concurrent, say, for the most of the year... Yeah, there's no point having servers that are twice as large. Why would you have servers, like, yeah, willing to hold 2 million players for one day. Why would you pay for 2 million players worth of servers and then go back down to 300,000 players in a day or two? Yeah, it makes sense. And it, it does make... It's the sad reality, but it does make sense. It's our YouTube thing everyone's moaning about, isn't it? Um, they're monetizing unmonetized videos, and it's yeah, like... Everyone bitching it's about shit. that. It's shit. It's shit. But I get it from a business perspective, like, like they're hosting free content like, for, what, 20 years? It's like, Lucas, I can go onto YouTube right now and upload 50 hours of 4K footage for free. Yeah. Like, everyone complaining about this, it's like, have you any idea how good it is that this was free for this long? Mm -hmm. So, do you know, whenever this stuff like this happens, you always get someone go, well, why doesn't someone just make a competitor to YouTube? That's why. Like, there and is... The one time... The one, like, thing I agree with, um, that people are saying is it makes it shit for your, like, you know, small creators, and maybe have the caveat of, if you can't monetize your videos, we won't. But the thing is, they're still, like, paying to host those videos. Oh, no, I realize that, but I feel like that move was to push any big YouTuber that isn't monetizing to monetize. Even, like, and to be fair, most of the content that YouTube has is just random people's, like, videos. No, I I, I know, yeah, but, um, at the same time, one person with, what, what, like, a million followers never monetizing their content and going through Patreon, that's hurting a massive deal of them. It is. Oh, shit. What hurts it more is the 99.9% .9 of the rest of you, which yeah. represents the rest of YouTube, oh, which are... I, I understand why they're doing it, but it does also hurt people that can't monetize content, and I don't know what the answer is. The answer is, like, like last life. In a perfect world, that would not be the solution, but you've gotten yeah, exactly. two decades of unlimited free storage forever. I still remember, like, like, it does suck, and as someone who's like still a much smaller content creator, who, I, I can monetize my videos, I don't make much money off them necessarily. Um, oh god, PG. Yeah. I, I, I see that argument and it does suck and it will hurt it does. people's growth. 
But then again, will it hurt people's growth if every video has to have ads? Yeah, it's like we don't have a perfect world. It's like... Um, we don't. My favourite thing I ever saw is like the last time YouTube did something like this. It's like, why don't all the YouTubers band together and make their own YouTube? It's like, because the cost of hosting, the amount of content Ooh. that goes onto YouTube every yeah. single day is millions of pounds a month. Yeah. Just to host. And the reason YouTube's so popular is not because it's like got big creators on it, it's because anybody in the world with an internet connection can put an unlimited amount of content on that platform. Mm. There is no way. It's like years worth of content uploaded every hour. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And how do you compete with that? Yeah, and it's the same thing, isn't it? If you're getting something for free, you are the product. It's like, imagine if Google Drive had unlimited free storage. Mm. That's what YouTube essentially is. Well, I turned around to um, to General mention this and was like, I don't necessarily agree that it's the perfect way to do it, but if I turned around and went, look, uh, what is it, £1.59 for 100 gigs on Google Drive? Is that right? About that, yeah. Um, so say $2 for every 100 gig. So that is $2 for every two weeks I upload content on YouTube, say. If that's, if that's what the, the pricing they went on. Now imagine me uploading that and immediately it goes to, well, after a year, that's like, you know, $50 a year. It's only going to go up. And it goes up and up and up. But then as a bigger content creator, I'm going to go to more videos and I'm going to upload 4K and I'm going to, you know, better my quality. And that goes up and up and up. And I, two weeks is pushing it. Yeah. Well, the way like I... I if, when I put my streams, when I put up... Um, my videos when I'm putting up 10 videos a week that are five gig at least it's like yeah you would very quickly come to the point where it's unsustainable for creators to pay yeah, hundreds of dollars a month and Lucas as well you could anyone in the world can do that for free and have yeah. been able to do that for 10 years well what 20 however long YouTube has existed 15 maybe and it's ridiculous and the idea that people are like, I want all my groceries in one bag, but I don't want it to be heavy. Yeah. It's like, the way I would it on Twitter is, if YouTube started charging at cost for the hosting, in a similar way to like Google Drive, like, you know, that rock bottom was like $1, $1 per 100 gig, 99% yeah. of YouTube would disappear overnight. Because 99% of creators would not be able to afford to put their videos up. Because if they said you have to pay a dollar, to upload a video, 99% of people who upload videos so that thing would not do it. No. So I think it's something like Imja, unlimited like image hosting, forever. Yeah. And the only reason though, and that's why there's no competitors to those services. No. Because that's... no one can afford to like, you know, let everyone come in for free. As you said, why don't all the big YouTubers come together? They can't afford to host that shit. No, because the... The only way to compete with YouTube is to offer what they do. And, and just, it's you hilarious. Need Google, you need Google levels of money to be able to do that at no cost. And even then, Google have clearly got to that point where it's too much. But yeah, I, I agree that YouTube has a lot of shitty practices, but expecting something for hosting, like what, terabytes upon terabytes upon terabytes, like, I don't even know the ones above it but like millions upon millions of terabytes of data for free so, yeah but they're trying to make money off it oh yeah wouldn't you isn't that what you I, I get it it's like not a perfect solution but when people are arguing I want free stuff and I want money for doing it I want to be able to upload unlimited free content to YouTube they're going to run ads against it to try and cut get back, claw back some of their losses, and then I want a cut of that money as well. And like, if they did that, all you would get is massive companies uploading millions of terabytes or gigabytes of random footage that would then get ads run against it so they could just get all the money back. Yeah. And, um, right. Give me a moment. I'm yeah, going to, um... I'm going to just... Go see the boy, I get it. 
Well, I was thinking, like, trying to figure out when he went, like, last one out. Gonna go refill my drink and probably gonna take him out for a week. No worries. He probably needs it, so I'll be a few minutes, but... Uh, the type of camera I use is the type of camera I think every basic streamer uses yeah. are like the Logitech C920. Yeah, just Google. Uh, of like the basic, it looks good enough webcam. And then I have like a, a £10 um, ring light for selfies that I got because my office only has like one single spotlight above me. Yeah, I have like the, the like a similar like beauty YouTuber ring light. Yeah behind my desk to give me that light in yeah the sound did stuff uh yeah i'll be back in a few minutes just make sure he's um taken out and looked after you yeah, know it's not switch up my character for a sec how dare a company off the massive data their house like i get it and there's like i've seen all the outrage of people just offering like yeah youtube should just let people have some of the money it's like that's what would happen if in a perfect world or it is naive to expect a massive multi-billion dollar company to cons that's giving you something for 15 years to keep doing that. The fact we've had it in 15 years, just take it as a chalk up to a victory. We had it for free for this long, and we're still getting it for free. Because that's one of the things, if we had to pay hosting on Fact Fiend, there's no way we'd be able to start a channel. Because I had to absorb all the costs of... Um, filmmaking for the first year and a half I would not be able to do that if hosting got put on top of that one of the reasons that YouTube is like a viable career swerve for people is that you can just give it a go at basically minimal cost and if you fuck it up that's fine what Nintendo is doing is another story well uh, I'm guessing that's the Smash Bros thing which uh, our friend Charlie who is who works in the gaming industry and has done for like eight years at this point um, has explained it very succinctly to us and it makes perfect sense. Again, it's one of those things where, yeah, um, there is a, in a perfect world, there will be an ideal solution to this, but we don't live in a perfect world. And bitching about it and just saying, why don't company do thing that makes no sense to a company? YouTube is doing good enough, but they could be doing so much better while making the same money. Um, I don't think so. Like they're a massive multi-billion dollar company. They have people um, paid hundreds of thousands of dollars a year working this out. If you think you can make more, do it better, you're welcome to go and try. Um, what's Nintendo doing? There's a melee tournament that they shut down because they're using a unofficial mod of melee to play it online. And the way our friend Charlie summed it up is um, that uh, companies have to aggressively pursue their copyright or it gets weakened over time. Uh, which is why you get stories such as this one of Nintendo shutting down a fan tournament because they have to. Because like, if they don't, then that weakens their hold on copyright, which can then result in them losing the control over things that they own, which obviously no company wants to do. It's a sad fact of business life that you have to pursue stuff like this very aggressively. That's how copyright law works. Companies will only change the public generates enough outcry. You can't get them to change though against what their bottom line is. I guarantee you 90% of the YouTubers bitching about this change are only doing so because it's good optics to complain about it. How many of those YouTubers turned off mid-roll apps when they got implemented site-wide? We did. We went out of our way to turn mid-roll ads off. How many YouTubers accept it because it makes them more money? And they realise it's like, you know, they can bitch about it, but to say, oh, well, what can we do? So you can actually turn those off. I explain that to some of the old doing ones. Yeah, companies have to pursue copyright very aggressively and if they don't they it's lost um, so anything that could weaken their copyright such as playing an unofficial version of a game now what's happening on youtube they are running ads against videos that aren't monetized uh, 
because there's, there's a straw that finally broke the camel's back as they're paying for hosting on millions of terabytes of footage that they make um, a horrible loss on. Were you playing an AC Valhalla on your gaming channel? Not particularly, no. I don't have a PS5 or Xbox Series X, so... There's no point playing on the previous console, because all we're going to get is people bitching that it's not on the new console, so... That's okay, I've let tournaments before. Um, well, Nintendo is more protectionist. It's that simple. Nintendo is a very protectionist company. It's like, it's their product, they can do what they want with it. And it's not really fair to say, oh, why don't they do what this other company does? It's just because they're not that company. I understand the ads. Hey, hey, you got 15 years of unlimited free hosting without any caveats. That's a pretty sweet deal. That's unheard of in today's landscape. Can you think of anything that would, like any deal that is even remotely as good as that, of unlimited free HD video hosting? Forever, that's stored and secured on some of the safest and most secure servers in the world for free. And the only thing you now have to pay is they run an ad against it, maybe. I was like, yeah, it'd be nice if they didn't do that, but I'm not going to be naive and say it's what they should do. Nintendo use copyright straps, I'll think we did the games. Uh, I don't, from our experience, it's Warner Bros. Warner Bros really don't like using clips of their things. Making a false and negative press. I guess, if, like, your conspiracy theories. Sure. I'd probably just chalk it up to the company. You know, it's something they've not. Um, historically dip their toe into. Oh. I'm just bored of this conversation, mate, to be fair. I don't really care. Let's keep it 
put away Lucas. Do you have a smash cat to use your battle spot? Not particularly now. I think between us all we play the cast. We play pretty much the entire cast. Start watching She-Ra. She-Ra's awesome. It's a very, very good show. Like one of the strongest shows in a couple of years. Also, it annoys weird men online, so always a good reason to watch a show. Even Min Min. I believe Charlie plays Min Min. So, Hello. Yeah. Hello there, Lucas. Call us back. I'm, I won't be one anyway, mate. Well, I say call us back. I am back. I am, um, I just thought to, yeah, make sure the cater was. Went out for the toilet and everything, so we're all good. We're all good. I missed the old 80s and 90s anime like Thundercats and He-Man. The art style was so clean. It was fucking ugly. Um, it was ugly and also not anime. No. I think that's, I mean, the anime Techni is... On a technicality, it's not anime. I, think, I mean, like, the animated style. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. Like, I'm just that, being that guy. That film, like, that, those shows were fucking ugly. And like, they the... also cut corners so yeah. badly with the animation. Like, the new She-Ra looks incredible. I love that show. Yeah, when you told me to get a clip of it, I was like, fucking hell, this looks amazing. This show's so good. Some of the strongest character designs as well. Mm hmm. And, like, just really good writing and really good jokes. Like, the running gag that Bo always has his um, uh, stomach out is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, like, um, stuff like E-Man and Thundercats and stuff, yeah, it was just made to sell toys. Yeah. That was the entire purpose. And it's weird how people defend it. Like, oh man, you're like, you need to uh, pay homage and respect to the original. It's like, it was designed to sell fucking toys. Like, stop attaching your personality to something like this. Yeah. It's like, I love Pokemon, but I'm all, like, more than willing to admit it is just a media empire made to make money. It's like, stop defending companies. Yeah. Ironically, though, it's funny that we uh, we earlier were defending company car. Which one? Uh, when we were talking about the whole Nintendo Smash Bros thing. It's more like just not even defending, just understanding. It's like, yeah, it'd be great if they just let us do whatever the fuck we want with Melee, but that's not how copyright works. No. It's like me saying, wouldn't it be great if just Jeff Bezos gave away all his money? It's like, it's good to say, it means fucking nothing in the, long, in the grand scheme of things, because that's not going to happen. The last thing is, it's advertising a product at the end of the day. Yeah. And it's advertising the wrong product, because that's not how Nintendo sold it. But it's, it's just like that thing, though, with all the YouTubers going, oh, Nintendo should just let the fans own it. Like, that's not how fucking business works. Nintendo should let the fans own the game that Nintendo owns. And pretending like it is is just either naive or stupid. Yeah. And I'm not, I hope, like to say I'm not neither. That is one of those things that on paper, okay, it sucks for those guys, but when you actually think about it, no, Nintendo were just protecting their own game. And they never intended this stupid party game from 20 years ago to be played online with unofficial mods. It's also that thing as well of, oh, they should just let the fans do it. It's like, that's all well and good if fans take it, but what's to stop one of those fans from taking it and selling it? Which is something yeah. that people could do if the copyright was, like, you know, weakened. Yeah. And would you want something that you created to be taken by other people and sold? Of course not. It's one of those things of, like, the moment someone uh, mentioned this to me, I was like, yeah, of course Nintendo are going to do that. Like, I didn't even have, like, a second thought in my head of just, yep, that's what's going to happen, and fair play to Nintendo. They have every right to do it. They own it. It's the, you can do what you want with like, it when you own it. If they, if they want to let you do it, that's a nicety. They do not owe you anything. But people acting like it does is the weirdest part about it. Ah, damn it, I lost yeah. that jump.
But it's like that thing of uh, acting like, oh yeah, well Nintendo should just let us do this. Like, well, yeah, that'd be great if they did. They're not going to, so I'm not even going to bother entertaining that idea. Or yeah. suggesting the moment Nintendo strike that hammer down, it's like, well, they have a right to. Okay, like, cool. You've got a bunch of other YouTube and creators saying that because it's easy, like, brownie points. Yeah. It's like, I also think that um, everyone should get a free cookie. It's not going to happen, so why would I bother saying it? Uh, wouldn't it be great if the Xbox just gave everyone a free console? Yeah, it would. Uh, it would be. But you get those outrage clicks. Oh yeah, you totally do. And that's one thing like really annoying. Really. Those outrage clicks. Get the outrage click like, by reading a two sentence news article. Well, it's, it's how YouTube works and how. Like, oh, God, um, it's how a lot of places get popular, isn't it? Just like an inflammatory headline. Uh, we did beat Sunshine. We didn't need to get many blue coins because we weren't doing. Like the completionist version that? of it, um, because the one thing I know about the game is 100%ing it absolutely ruins all the fun. Yeah, and I've heard that a lot, and I'm taking it to heart. And for the most part on a playthroughs, I never really want to 100% it. Like, oh, would you? Why? Um, this one of those of, especially with my sunshine of. Oh yeah, the game is fun until you try getting all the blue coins. My first thought would not be, okay, let's do a, a playthrough where we get all the blue coins. Uh, I would, I would not do that, and we don't aim to do it. And I watch a lot of um, the the completionists on YouTube, and the amount of games that he plays, where it's like, the game was really fun, and then out to one hundred percent it, and he, he just regrets playing uh, that game. You know what? I bet he hates his gimmick. What a stupid gimmick. One well, that's like makes it, like your life more painful. Why would you do yeah. that? Yeah. I'm sure he, he like because he clearly built like make off the fact that he likes doing it, but he must regret playing certain games. So. Ah oh, no. And then obviously he um, had to like. Well, he didn't have to, but he had to take a bunch of episodes down and then committed himself to replaying every single game with fresh footage and. Opinions oh, because so who was in them? Um, no, no, he had he had a falling out with his editor that he doesn't disclose as far as I'm aware. Oh, okay. But I was something thinking like... happened where like him and his editor had a falling out, and they each had um, part ownage of the videos. So he had to remove all those videos. But hell yeah, um, you don't see, folks, that's what copyright is. It's not fun. Yeah, and sometimes it, it's bullshit and it's not. It doesn't make sense, but that's fucking copyright. And that's the thing is, he was like, "Oh, the first 125 games, I think it was, on his channel." He's like, "Oh, I can't use these anymore because they were with my original editor. That whatever happened with them, whatever happened with them, I don't know. But all I know is that he couldn't use that anymore." Hell yeah. And um, see, that's the kind of yeah. thing that I do. I'd be that much of a dick because you know what? Fuck it. Oh no no! Like he legitimately like legally couldn't use them. What's what I mean? Like because clearly the editors like now. Yeah. They, they couldn't do some like a profit sharing thing. Like, that's what I do. Like fuck it. <laughs> if you don't like fall out with someone, fuck you fall out with them properly. Um. So yeah, he had to replay all those old games, but the amount of games that he plays like. Yeah, this wasn't fun the first time. And now I've committed myself to replaying every game that I did in these starting episodes. It's like, okay, and at least he knows the gimmicks of it them now. But the fact that sometimes he has to go back and like, oh, I really didn't enjoy this the first time, and now I'm back again. And it's like, oh god, that feels, that feels rough. He does, but like, you know what? He's probably rich, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure he's got a shit ton of money. But if the amount all those people are paid, I'd do what they do. And it's, it's one of those, it's a great gimmick until you pick the wrong game. Three, two, one, go! Yeah. Oh, there it is. Increase jabs. These, these fat jabs. 
these fat Ganon jabs. I love Ganon shot. He's just great. He's the perfect. Imagine trying like, thinking to redesign Ganon. <laughs> Imagine being that stupid. Get Imagine fast, thinking man. this man has a full frame jab. Let's get it. <laughs> I hate Ganon being like the best character in the game. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> God, fuck's sake. I'm so sick of that. I wish there was just like a filter for Twitch. It's like, just get rid of memes. Do you know they have like the racism one, the slurs one? Just filter out any meme. And, like, oh, what's just, happening, Carl? Just whenever someone says hello, then it was General Kunobi. It's like, fuck off. Like, develop a personality on your own. Stop making it just Reddit subreddits. <laughs> it's so boring. Have you ever met people yeah. like, in real life? They're the fucking worst. Oh, yeah, in real life, they definitely are. People's entire personality is just what they read on the internet that day. Ah, oh, no! That was beautiful, Lucas. No! Yes! Ah, oh, reset. It's not a reset to your life ahead. Should reset. Reset. Oh, here we go. Oh. That was me trying to like, gain some semblance back in the match. And oh, Lucas. I did a good job until I let myself down. Mind games. Oh, Ren free, baby. I'm in there rent free. Oh, I'll do it. Power up like Goku. Oh, I love it. Damn. These foot jabs. How do you beat a foot jab? <laughs> Challenge it. Challenge my foot jab. Four frame jab. How did you stop that? <laughs> the foot's coming. Growing turkey for Thanksgiving. What was all that shit? I don't know if you know about like, was it Ted Cruz saying that like, oh, uh, take it back? I don't know. Was it like, go infect all your family with COVID <laughs> for Thanksgiving? Is that what it was? I don't know. Like, whoever, like Ted Cruz, the only thing you need to know about him is that either him or his son like left a dog on the roof of their car and killed it. Was it, um, by the way, I saw a um, thing like last week I heard on Twitter. Mm -hmm. It was like some small dick guy on a podcast with Logan Paul saying like Harry Styles is like not manly. Was that the Ben Shapiro thing? Oh yeah, that like Ben Shapiro is like, oh, Harry Styles is not a man. Because but wore... was that Ben Shapiro, the guy that I saw? No, Ben Shapiro. You'd know him because he looks like a fucking rat. Well, he did look like a rat. Yeah, he looks like a little rat boy. Because he was like some guy on Logan Paul's podcast. That's the Logan Paul is too big to even invite Ben Shapiro on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but some d douchebag was like, yeah, uh, Harry Styles isn't manly, though. And I agreed with Logan Paul once where he's like, yeah. fuck you. Like, the guy's being comfortable in his own skin isn't that manly. Do you know what the best bit as well is? If Harry Styles... I bet Harry Styles could fuck your girlfriend. Yeah, oh God, yeah. <laughs> of course he could. Yeah. That's the one. They're the only and people like, who say stuff like that, I, I can't imagine anything less manly. They'd be like, oh, no, you can't do that. The thing is, like, I, I watched that video and I thought back to the day prior where we talked about Ben Shapiro on the podcast, mm. having the smallest dick energy possible. I was like, is this where it's from? No, no, no. It's just Because that guy has the smallest of penises. Okay. Yeah, but I didn't grow up a household where men wearing dresses was manly. Go to Scotland. So fuck yourself. Go to Scotland. <laughs> yeah. The manliest thing in Scotland is to wear a fucking kilt. It's and anyone well. in Scotland that isn't manly enough to wear a kill is like ashamed of them. That's what's just so funny about stuff like that though. It's like, oh, because whenever they single out a guy like that, it's always someone like, someone like Harry Styles, a guy with a six pack, m millions of pounds, and like <laughs> like 20 million screaming fangirls who would like fuck him any time he asked. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, what a fucking loser that guy is. It's like, if he's not a man, what the fuck are you? <laughs> but like, yeah, for once in my life, I saw Logan Paul and went, yeah, he's making a good point. The he's guy been... is being comfortable in their own skin. And just that is, you know, what being like a man or being a human being is about. Of just like, you are being a good human being if you don't give a fuck what anyone else thinks. And 
you just, you know, being comfortable in your own skin. Unless being comfortable in someone else's skin is being comfortable in yours. Yeah, skin. I am playing with a shit controller, the guy who asked. Because I can't understand. Um, but yeah, like, unless you're eating other people and feeling comfortable about it, for the most part, you know, that's fine. Um, just, just be comfortable in your own skin, and that's what matters. I'm dead. Beautiful. Can't be mad. Thank you, Lucas. <laughs> give, you, give you the warrior's death. What are you doing? Oh, the crown. But it's always love stuff like that though, because you always see like, the guys who say it. It's like... It's what people say about David Bowie. It's like David Bowie could fuck anyone he wants. Yeah. Like he did. <laughs> He did, he did. Uh, any man, woman, or otherwise that like you want, he's good about. Oh! No call. Oh, god damn it, that did kill. Oh, kills just weddings, yeah, like, I'm not saying that um, kills are born all the time, but as far as I'm, I'm aware from the Scottish people I know, if you were like scared to wear a kilt, yeah, that would be seen as like you know people would call you a pussy. A bit of a dishonor. That's as from the Scottish people I know anyway. It's like you would not be seen as manly um, for saying I don't want to wear a kilt. It's just really funny. Cause I can't imagine anything lamer. Yeah, Carl brought this up on the podcast. So like. Yeah, Ben Shapiro bragged about his wife never getting aroused in bed. Yeah. It's like, yeah. A common joke. Like, in not my... all women can get wet, you know. A common joke now with my girlfriend is uh, just any time something's dry, I just call Ben Shapiro's favourite. Uh, <laughs> it's so funny. I, he went on Twitter and publicly announced my wife said it's okay that she doesn't get wet when we have sex. Like, what, what a hero. Yeah, that is, that is true hero. Like, like... Imagine having the balls to do that. Not really, okay, fair enough. Like, if you're from Glasgow and it was like that, fair enough, but... That is, that is just speaking from the few Scottish friends that I have personally, but... It's more, it's like... It's the fucking, um, uh, Who cares how you choose to dress? Like, the yeah, same that people, is the point. That is the point we're trying to make. The same people who bitch and say facts don't care about your feelings, like, scream about, but why don't people care that I think this is weird? It's like, no one cares. <laughs> Um, so Carl, like, as far as I'm aware, he doesn't look like Charlie's making it tonight, so should we get serious? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm picking Ganon, yeah, I've got my Ganon. Okay. That's always um, the best one, in it? It's like, facts don't care about your feelings, say the person going, oh, you can't be mean on Twitter. Because, <laughs> like, I, um, I've been up since 8 o'clock in the morning, so I'm getting pretty tired. Yeah, fair enough. I've got to record tomorrow anyway. Yeah. yeah. Let's go, baby. It's tiny. Uh, I, I think the power thought process controller. of switch controller was let's make the smallest switch controller possible. But to be fair, if you've got like a couple of these, and you, they're a tenner. If you have a couple in your house, like Mario Kart or something, I can see it being alright. Yeah, if, if it's one of those of, well, we've got them for um, easy multiplayer games. Compare it to how much a Joy-Con costs. Or even like a... Um, a game you control, you need the adapter. Yeah. It's a tenner. And you don't need to plug it into Wi-Fi. Or um, the USB, sorry. Because if you've got USB controllers or the wired ones, you can only plug in two of those. You can, yeah. If you're brave enough to ask a girl out wearing a kill. Like, the fact that you think it's brave to, like, just ask someone out wearing a piece of national dress says more about you than the person that you think you're talking about, mate. I, I full-on said to Jenna that, um... If we were ever to get married, I would want to wear a wedding dress and Jenna's cool with that. Just for the insult. Yeah, yeah. Just, just to piss people off. They don't agree with it. Like, you know what I'd really like to annoy any bigoted people in either of our families by just rocking up in a wedding dress or a wedding. If, Hell yeah, like, I'll do that. I, I don't necessarily like think um, weddings are mandatory and all that. Like, I don't necessarily agree with that. If you have I'd wear a dress. So that'd be a good I way to like filter out all the um, uh, the toxic members of your friend group as well. You got yeah, exactly. dress. Um, oh, no, the I, feet. I've got an agreement with Jenna that is the best agreement. 
She's like, oh, okay, well, I don't really give a shit about marriage either. We both kind of agree on the point. We said the one thing she does want regardless is a wedding cake. She said, if we don't get married, all I want is a day where I get a wedding cake. I can just eat it in front of people. I was like, okay. And no one's allowed to have any. <laughs> it's like, okay. Like, she doesn't get, care about a wedding ceremony or a wedding or being married, but she does want a wedding cake. Beautiful. There's a lot fair enough. That's power play right now. Oh no, I was hoping to get you. Wow. Thank you. Lucas, what was that? What was that? Um, what was I that? I was trying to roll, but lag was getting in the way. I was about to say, what was that like ballsiness? Yeah. <laughs> three times. Oh! I tried. oh god, no. Yeah. Three, three times I tried him. to roll out the way, and lag just made me shield. I was like, no, no, no. The fucking eight bit do on the go. I still can't believe that guy. If you brave your flattered girl at wearing a kill, so that says more about you, mate, than it does about the person wearing the kill. Thing is, it doesn't matter what you wear, as long as you wear it confidently. Yeah. That's what I just think is so funny about it. Mm. Stuff like that always says more about the person saying it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that fucking man. -down. It's that thing of like, I often see a lot of people like, um, you know, a lot of people that I've met over my life in the past 10 or so years have been like, oh, like, how do you dye your hair? And like, you know, um, how do you know that you suit it? And it's like, it's not that I'll suit it, it's that I don't give a shit. Yeah. It's that I'm confident about having dyed hair. And that's why it looks good on me. It's not because it looks good on me. Because, hey, I, I admittedly have learned to dye it well, you know, in terms of it not looking like shit. Why? why would you challenge this? And, oh God, I don't. And B, just, yeah, I've learned to wear it confidently, so you don't question me wearing it. Yeah, I you look weird with, like, normal coloured hair. Exactly. And you know why? Because I feel uncomfortable in normal coloured hair. Now. But it's, it's just very strange to me of, like, oh, I couldn't pull off dyed hair. It's like, you could if you fucking believed that you could pull it off. Yeah. And get it done nicely. There's nothing worse than when people have it like half done in it looks really ratty and awful. But you can call that ninja if you want. I can. Ah! You had it first, Lucas. I did. Well, as well, everyone needs to remember with these dunks, I am using the literal tiniest control I can find. If people can find a worse, smaller control, I'll take it. And win with that too. So I'm used to it now, so. So I'm doing like my fast fall tech and everything. Oh, I did it. That's beautiful. Do it. Ah! Oh, God damn it. Catching Falcon. What is he doing? Well, I'm glad you're there. Thank you. And that's the thing is. Right, that's the one. I, I see Can you make a people. smaller controller? Look at it. Look at it. Look, no, at, you look, can't. look at it in my hands. If you can't like... fit a circuit board in there. Well, if we just show my hands holding it. Look at this. We'll do another match with my hands. People can see. People can see the power of the 8 bit do. So powerful. Ready? Let's go, baby. The tiny 8 bit do. That's thing, like, I know um, that, like, I, I see plenty of people all the time walk, when I walk past them, like, laugh at their hair, and I, I honestly, I couldn't give a shit. Shit! I like it. But I know other people would get conscious about that. But as well, you that says more, get past that point. it says more about people laughing. Exactly. It says they have no whimsy in their life. They you have no what? fun. No. I've accepted that, they just have no fun. Take it. Ganon just fucking takes it like a man. And feet coming in. Oh god, man. It's like a control for cats. It's a control for fucking legend. That's what it is. <laughs> I can't wait to get two. 
So that's what's going to be the real challenge. If I get two and then hand one to someone else, so, okay, now you beat me. <laughs> now. Ooh, nice. A comically large controller. Um, well, you can play with the dude. Like, I'm six foot three, so I don't think you're gonna be able to make a mecha control. I don't think it was gonna be an official controller on the market too big for me to use. Maybe that a GameCube like chainsaw controller. I want that. I want I, that so bad. I also want the GameCube one with the full keyboard in it. Yeah. That's the one I want. I want. I want that to just bring to people's houses to play with. It looks fucking hilarious. You know what's more hilarious though? The idea of needing that. Like, at what point did Nintendo do online chat? I think it was like for Xenoblade or something. Or Fantasy, uh, Fantasy Star. So Fantasy Star Online. Yeah, I think it was Fantasy Star, yeah. But the idea of like, I need online chat for GameCube. Thing is though, remember that Xbox uh, attachment thing that I just put a full keyboard on and bought me a controller? And yeah. during the Halo 3 days, that was really useful before everyone had a microphone. Oh no, I never I never learned to use that. I just learned to get really fast with the D-pad on the 360. Oh, okay. So you would like the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! The 8-bit do. The power of the 8-bit do. Uh, I dye my hair like... I dye my hair every couple of weeks, but I change the colour every like four to six weeks. The power of the 8-bit do. I top up the colours a bit more than I change them. So it gets to uh, a point. Should we do like three more? Yeah, go for it. Mm. So, no one's gonna be able to make a worse controller. Now if I can beat people with that fucking Pikachu one. Oh god. Just yeah. the one that's all rubber. I wanna get though that Greasy one you showed me for Xbox. Oh, the grease proof controller. Yeah, I want to get that one. That was awesome. That looks greasy as fuck. I want to get that one and cover it in like chicken crumbs. Like that. Like, if people don't know what I'm on about, just Google grease proof um, controller. Yeah, just please Google like Xbox One grease proof controller. And the image that you get is like a PUBG. Yeah, oh, it's fucking awful. Like greasy controller. They're surrounded by fried chicken. Yeah. And they're like, this controller will never get greasy, but it's, it already looks slimy. So why does that, like, it defeats the point. Right, so I want to go for one more bathroom break. And I'll be back. Cool. Oh, no worries. Go and enjoy yourself. Thank you for joining yeah, it's really uncomfortable with the look of that controller. Like, it's bad. It's bad. The 8 bit has truly been dooted. <laughs> How do you stop me? I, I, I just want to go to like Joe uh, Meltdown. I just oh, want yeah. to go in there on like a smash evening or something like that and just whip this thing out and challenge and just like casually say, oh, Yeah, I've got, don't worry, I've got a controller and whip this bad boy out. <laughs> Don't worry, guy. I'd never leave home without it. Like no, literally, no. I, I do want. I do want that like wet controller. The yeah, Xbox One pad, not for me, but to pass to other people. Yeah, because the reason why I want to take this little one is because it fits on a keychain. So I want to put it on my keys and then play with it <laughs> like that, and just be like, oh yeah, I'm never without my Smash controller. Three, two, oh, someone's got a good idea. Um, get a regular controller and just empty it and then put this inside of it. 
and use the regular side controller as the carry case for it. That is next level. I might actually Bring a do GameCube, that. Buy a GameCube pack, empty it out, and just pull the air uh, boot out of it. Yeah, and keep all like, the uh, the attachments inside of it. Yeah. No, mine's bigger. Oh, the knee. I wish like Ganon had his equivalent of the knee. He has so much already, though. He doesn't. He ain't getting enough. He needs more power. He's backflips. He's perfect. Like Ganon backflips. Look at these. Look at these, like, these men. Just throwing out these legs. <laughs> cool. Do you think Ganon gives a shit what people, like, if someone says to him, why are you wearing that stupid piece of jewelry on your forehead? It's like, yeah. no, he just does a fucking forward air and gets rid of it. <laughs> Oh, King of the Evil. Oh, well, I don't want that. The power. Why? Why would you challenge this? You know what? I've got rage, so bollocks to it. Try and go for some bullshit. Okay. Jab, jab. Oh, the Light Grab Ranger is terrible. <laughs> oh, I did it. Oh, man, punching me in the ankles, man. That's the next level. Oh! I love it. I love that you got the range just right to stop yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't have a second jump. Shit. Good time. I know. The stage has been my ally this game. Ooh. That'd be mad. Yeah, that's Ooh. right. No, Lucas, no mercy. Cobra Kai. Ooh. No mercy. No, no mercy. mercy. Oh. No mercy. <laughs> That was defo some like bad DI over there. Alright, there we go. Well, number one goes to Luca. I feel like I've done alright with this thing though. I'm, I'm at... I think you're on more KOs than I am. Yeah, I'm on 74. Yeah, I'm on 66. Fucking hell. To be fair, you had all those ones where you were like being distracted by KOs. So. No, no, Carl. You have the 8 bit do. That's the thing, I don't even think of it as a, a disadvantage. Same with the Joy-Con. Yeah. I don't think I could play with a good, uh, fully sized controller as good anymore, because I've played the Joy-Con for literally <laughs> a year and a half at this point. Yeah. Especially in regards to Smash, where like, it's the only controller I've used for Smash for over a year. Like, if we handed you a GameCube controller, I'd, you'd I'd be do like, worse. I don't like the GameCube controller. I never like really use it that much. Crazy. I still think the GameCube controller, in terms of like feel, is just one of the greatest controllers ever. No, it, it, like, it is, but I just don't like it. Yeah. It's just not for me. Especially like when in Smash, like I've got the Joy-Con, I've got the superior control input method. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why? Oh god, no. I can't believe I landed two Ganon punches in a row. I'm really weird about like, the, the grab range of Ganon. Oh. It's a lot less than you think it is. It is, yeah. He has that, uh, and like does the really short, like, cling into his body kind of grab. He doesn't use his arms. He doesn't. He doesn't need to. There we go. You can also like that. That was beautiful. I love that though when you have like you have like four options. Yeah. If you have like three or four options, I have three or four, so that's why I love it so much. That's the next level mind games that you get from it. Oh, I was hoping. I was hoping for the armor. Oh, I didn't have another jump. God damn it! The honor. I approach. Well, final one card. The 8-bit do. 
the power of the do. And I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know what happened, but I'm pretty sure that Risk of Rain just ate Charlie. He did. It's alright, maybe I think that's what happened. Maybe it's fair enough. Week. Maybe Wednesday. I'm not sure, uh, like, I'll ask how January is. Yeah, okay, yeah, fair enough. Like, hey. Jenna's relying on me still. I um, I don't want to be on. Oh, I'm streaming. Do deal with it. Again. Okay. I use five sticks in my hands, don't cramp up. Mate, get an 8 bit, do it's great. <laughs> Your hands cramp up like every 20 minutes. Yeah, it's me. great. Ah, damn it. <laughs> the one thing that's awkward is switching from one side of the D pad to the other when you're doing shit like that. Yeah. It's a lot easier when you've got a control stick, you can just roll it. To do like your um, uh, twisty or pairs. Mm. I get, I get used to it. I'll do up B, sorry. Like Joey, you like doing up B, then like sl uh, just slightly change the angle on it straight yeah, afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Have to be more predictive with this one. So. That's something I have to learn. I like it. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice. Oh, Nelly. Oh, <gasps> oh cool. How does that not break shields? <laughs> I don't that know. should be a perfect... The standing, twisty, wall up punch. Like, you break. should need, like, perfect parries to, like, stop that thing. You should need hospitalization after that. Do it. Lucas, I'm dead. Don't even bother following this, you know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Don't try and follow Ganon. Why? I rolled. <laughs> I rolled what? and it got me in the vulnerability bit. Do you know what that was, Lucas? That was the biggest big brain play. Oh, god damn. That was fair play. The biggest of with the 8 bit do. The 8 that bit do. No, I just hang up the Discord call right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to taste the fucking tournaments. I want to start. I well. love this thing. You this did well. This thing's so fun. I love it. I can't wait to attack. I can't wait to get another one and put it on my keys. <laughs> I want to get like a couple and put them around my house. So yeah, people yeah. come around. So do you want to play Smash? And just like grab it from whatever thing is nearby. You just start launching 8 bit dudes at me like, ah! Go! Yeah, you've got to play. Uh, well, thank you all for joining. And, like, yeah, uh, uh, I guess Charlie's dead. Yeah, he is. But I'll, I'll catch you in a bit anyway, mate. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, it's, uh, let me know thank how things are tomorrow. And say, like, you know, um, just hello to Jenna for me and stuff. Will do, yeah. Thank you. And I'll catch you in a bit. I'll switch on my stream. There we go. So I'll, I'll stick around until I finish my beer. Make sure chat's doing good. After I get rid of Discord. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. So I don't get yelled at by Twitch. Hopefully, yeah, that's going well. Yeah, so the 8 bit do. The fucking 8 bit do. 10 quid. The size compared to prove. I, I normally play on a single left Joy Con. This is what I now. This is my new controller that I play with. Like, that is my controller of choice from this day forward. No one can defeat it. It's too good. I am pre-ordering one of those. Yeah. You got a style. When you got a style, you got a style. I played with it all night. I beat Lucas. Who I... So... Lucas is about as good as me at the game. Like we both roughly have like, equal skill level, depending on the day. You ever play against fans? Uh, yeah, if you're in the Discord. controller. 
It's more, I, I like to take the piss. I intentionally play the worst characters and stuff like that in games. So, um, in Smash Bros, I, I like Ganon because I really start playing Smash Bros with Brawl. Uh, I think Luke's about to confirm next time he's on stream, if I remember, or someone wants to ask him. When I started, I asked, who is the worst character? And it was Ganondorf. So I started playing Ganondorf because he was the worst character in that game. So that's who I played. And then with the release of the Smash for Wii U, I again, who was the worst character? It's Ganondorf. So I Ganondorf main again. And I played with the Wii U gamepad. I played with the gamepad. And then when um, uh, the Switch came out, I once again, because uh, I don't have a GameCube controller lying around, I just took my... I uh, originally played with the double Joy-Cons when the the controller dock thing. And then one day I just picked up one Joy-Con because we only had one left over. And just played with that. And from that day on, played with that. I just want to get into the discard. Well, the discard is invite only, so asking is probably like the exact opposite thing to do. Uh, but yeah, that's how I play games. Uh, I deliberately pick the worst or something that is intentionally against um, uh, the meta. Specifically because it's funny. Uh, so in Dragon Ball Z, for example, or Fighters, um, I always play um, the worst characters. And which is annoying because the meta keeps changing in that game, so I have to keep shifting my team. And then characters that are bad become good. And then characters that like require like more finesse to play, like get tools that make them useful. There we go, I'm just fiddling my phone as well. Or camera. I'm just checking messages and stuff, so it's really awkward. I just don't want to loot win and have someone say that I only won because of insert thing that I am doing. If I win, I want it to be like, nah, I'm better. And if I lose, it's like, nah, man, fuck it. Who cares? No, we don't have Patreon. Um, I don't charge for access to any of the content that we do. With stuff like the Discord being um, at least play Smash Bros and stuff. Uh, Fuse Massive stays bottom tier. He's not bottom tier, he's just the most difficult character to use. You know, he actually has the one of the highest amounts of. Oh, uh, well, he has the highest damage output next to like Casting Ginyu. He's just very difficult to use. Um, a skilled player could realistically like just dominate with him, but why would you do that? Just pick Bardock. It's easier. Like uh, the tiers are really um, loose in that game as it is. Get money for people using premium. I presume so, but I don't care. Uh, but just watch the YouTube videos in whatever way you want. I honestly could not give a shit. If you have premium, that's fine, but. Be a finished. Got that lot sorted. Charlie is impressed with my 8 bit do performance. You've got to love the do. The power of the do. Now, what's the spot of shit? Then watch it. Easy way. If you like the content, watch it. It's not difficult. Um, the channel makes enough money um, just running as it does. So just just watch it, uh, and I'm happy with that. I 
not. I have um, uh, I don't know the word to describe it, but I have no uh, desire to make um, access to content any more difficult or different because it's you know what we're doing works. Any more for any more? Gonna turn down a little bit. I'm gonna turn to people complaining. I'm not sure that's in regards to, but people are always people always complain. Uh, my current team in DBZ, it's up in the air because I've not really played the game much. Uh, last time I I got into it, it was cooler, Captain Ginyu and Jiren. Looks so like Jiren's new counter. Because it requires you to play in a very awkward way. There are only two channels in the Discord. Is that the whole point? There is another Discord. Dunking with Daisy. It's uh, where we arrange our um, uh, Smash matches. There's also another, another Discord, uh, which was my old subreddit, which I just couldn't really stop run arse running. So there's a couple of the moderators in here in it. No, you choose to play as the worst. Well, cool is really good. That's the annoying thing. There's no real like worst character in the game anymore. That's any more for any more. What would I find the discards? They're invite only. Specifically for the reason of I don't want to deal with shit. Uh, it's not that kind of YouTube channel, mate. I, I make the videos, you watch the videos. That is the extent of the interaction that I'm happy with. You may occasionally stream, which is also fun, but at the same time, yeah. When I turn the stream off, I'd like that to be the end of it. I don't want to think about my work in my day-to-day -day life. Doesn't sound like a fun way to live. <laughs> 